13 Mann zu wo wo. Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. God, I just heard, I, I thought you couldn't hear it like uh like my my Elgato sounds, but that doesn't make any sense because I'm not on the game just yet. Um hello. Oh, my glasses need to be cleaned again. Uh CC's on. Good, good, good. Do we have all the lights? We do have all the lights. I scared you. I'm sorry. I am scary. I am scary. <laughs> All right, CC is also on. Perfect. Um, hello everyone. Welcome on in. Happy Wednesday. Uh, we have um, oh my God, I've got this one strand of my bangs that just constantly is like in front of my eyes, which is ah infuriating. Anyway, uh, Kawaii, Kata, Cat, Fia, Schmikey, Emmy, um, B, and Fell. Thank you all so so much for being here early and getting the early squad. I hope you enjoy the the nothing that you get but i i do hope that you um <laughs> that you enjoy welcome on in and um also kawaii thank you so much for the 13 month resub thank you so much for the very long-term support um and for 13 months that's a heckin long time uh thank you and then also spooky uh spooky sh she oh god how do you say that shizu or shizu um, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. And also Key Canix, welcome on in. Hello. Uh, Kata and Chrissy and Kat, hello. Fel, welcome on in. Persephone, welcome on in. Um, Bambi and Shmaigi. Paulina, welcome on in. I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, why is... Okay. My work phone blowing up. No, nothing, nothing concerning me, though, I think uh b hello welcome on in and then saribot has joined which is great that's good um, and then olive thank you so much for the follow as well welcome on in mooncats the hello and alicia welcome on in lauren hello tiger and emily it's good to see you welcome on in uh savage welcome on in amy hello 
uh persephone did i say hello to you i think i maybe did i'm not sure um michelle and kat and Kawhi, welcome on in hello uh, i hope everyone knows okay i'll be lurking while cooking dinner and doing some cleaning of course amy good luck for you uh lauren hello fia hello welcome on in everyone oh no lauren is only 15 percent wobby today uh-oh shmaggy only 22 oh but fia is like 86 percent. that's pretty decent uh okay okay Oh, porn star. Interesting. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. I that's interesting. Do you maybe have a different name that I can call you? Because I'm not so sure. I want to say that. But, you know, I feel like maybe Twitch will be like, what? But I mean, they did kind of allow that um, that name. So it's Pern. I, I mean, it's a very... <laughs> I mean, you were playing with that, though, right? With the star thing. <laughs> All right, gotcha. Um, so I'll call you Pern. I'll call you. I'll call you Pern. Then welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. <laughs> it's totally okay. I just like. I'm generally not good. I'm not good with like when people put the numbers in. Uh, I can never tell what it's supposed to be. And then I do think you were playing with that a little bit. <laughs> welcome on in, though. Uh let's see, let's see, let's see. Mini, welcome on in. Hello, Kershi, welcome on in. Um, I got Stardew Valley to work today. Let's go. It just wouldn't start the last few days. So once I get home, I'm going to unwind watching Moline stream and finally playing the 1.6 update. B, have fun. Oh my God, enjoy. I want to play too. Um, no worries, Savage. Enjoy your lurk. I want to play too, but I, I, I'm obviously waiting for stream, but I just... I want to play Stardew, but I also want to play Stardew. It's just, uh, I also want to play Animal Crossing. Sorry. I want to play Stardew, but I also want to play Stardew. Of course. No, I also want to play Animal Crossing. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, my brain is like pulled into, into a gazillion different directions at the minute. And it just, yeah, I feel like that describes my mental state pretty well. <laughs> Lurky, will I get some start some more Stardew in before dinner? Kawaii, have fun. Also, Barry, welcome to the chat. Hello. And Savvy, welcome on in. I've had a long time working on my thesis in the library of my university. I'm headed home now, but it will really join again once I'm there. Be no worries. You're probably gone at this point, but no worries. Eden, hello, welcome on in. And Arudia, welcome on in. Uh, Mochi, hello. Um, music's so calm, it makes me sleepy. I get that. Bambi, also, did I say hello to you just yet? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. I listen to the slow fit playlist on Spotify all the time while studying. Yeah, I put those on quite a lot when I just like have to do, when I have to like write concepts and stuff, just so there is like a little bit of music going on. Bam. I feel like this one is so, so, so quiet. Ah, all right. Um, also, enjoy those lurks, by the way. Let me see. Um, po Paulina, I see the fashionista. I'll have to see because like the, the the annoying thing is that I usually would play this island at around 6 a.m., but then nothing is like open. So I don't know how to really do that. But maybe we can lock in when stuff is open and uh, just get like an outfit and then move on or something. I don't know. Oh my God, I, I don't think your glasses are supposed to do this, but they always do for me which is making the cleaning a bit annoying, but whatever. Uh, what I was going to say is that Mochi, um, Hef, and Alec, uh, oh wait, we got a couple more, uh, Tabby and Domi all enjoy the lurk, and Savage and Anu also enjoy your lurk. Um, let's see. I'm obsessed with your background. Thank you, Claire. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. And Crazy Cream, welcome on in. Olive, hello, welcome to the chat. A new here, I've watched your Animal Crossing streams on YouTube and the new Stardew 1.6 release. Let's go. I love both games and a new fan of yours. Thank you. I love how sweet and sincere you are. We'll be hanging out with y'all while I work. Sounds awesome. I hope that um, work is going well for you. Is is that is that even correct? Um, is Olive correct? Olive, uh, olive oil sunshine? Is that is that how that username would be said? Oh, God, I'm so bad at that, really. <laughs> I feel like streamers should go through like a test first of pronouncing like different usernames and I think I would probably fail it so there's that <laughs> anyway welcome on in thank you for the kind words 
Uh, and Persephone, welcome on in just in time with my strawberry and Nutella pancake. Pancakes tea. Oh, I didn't think it was heading there. Okay, now I've got hair stuck in my in my lashes. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <sighs> let's let's see. Let's see. Uh, Rudy, I also enjoy lurk. Uh, how are you today? I feel like the, uh, you know, being pulled in a lot of different directions kind of describes it best. I feel like I, uh, I don't know. I feel like between everything going on right now, there's like no, no real time to breathe. And I kind of don't like that, to be honest. But like generally, I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> how are you? Uh, Squeeze Moon, also welcome to the chat. Hello. And Spooky, welcome on in. Just Spooky is fine. Okay, perfect. Perfect. You're doing great, Maleen. Thank you, Phil. Appreciate it. Uh, Shona, welcome on in. Pia, hello. I was late because my brain told me it was time to clean my white sneakers. Don't worry, but good good job. Would you like to continue with mine? <laughs> Just asking, you know? Just asking. Maleen says hi to everyone. One of my favorite things about her stream. Yeah, I try. I try. Sometimes, you know, we do sit here for a little bit until I've caught up. You know, it might take me a bit, but I try. I try. Uh, Anna, welcome on in. Currently able to uh, to, to lurk because I'm still at where I'm uh, to link what? Because I'm still at work, but I'm fully here when work is done. Sounds good. Sounds good. Also, Yan, welcome on in. Accidentally said Stardew twice. Sure. Yeah, it's it's hard. Everyone's like playing Stardew all the time, and like a lot of people are already in like summer and fall and winter, and people have already played through it. And I'm over here chilling in the middle of spring and. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dragon's Fire, welcome on in. That Stardew hyperfixation is strong. It really is. Uh, Saturday, Saturday though. Though for those of you who who are interested in in Stardew, um, yeah, exactly, Chrissy. Whatever. Um, so those of you who are interested in Stardew, uh, we'll be playing that on Saturday. Yeah, but that okay, tr okay, tr real talk, real talk for a second there. That's one thing I kind of sometimes hate about streaming. Because you have to pace yourself so much. And like, I I mean, yeah, I could stream every day. But like, trust me, I'd be on the floor. <laughs> um, and so like, you got to pace yourself and wait for so long in between. Um, and this goes for like, this goes for Animal Crossing decorating. This goes for Stardew Valley farm stuff. Just everything. Um, wait, let's see. Beffy, welcome on in. And then, uh, okay, Astronaut, thank you so much for that brand new tier one sub. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you like the emotes and I hope, uh, that you like the badge as well. Thank you. My Timmy and Tommy edition Switch Lite will arrive this week and I waited a month because of shortages. Oh my God, but so exciting. So, sub Subby, will you be starting a new island? Is that, is, is that it? On my phone while on the train. I don't know if watching stuff on my phone is hard to interact. It is. Yeah, I don't really love watching on the phone either. Everything's so small and just... Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If you might have to tighten one of the tiny screws. Yeah, true. If you don't, don't have that tiny of a screwdriver, an optician can do it for you as well. Yeah, and I have to go there, you know? <laughs> but true, true. I will. I actually should because sometimes it's like annoying. There's instances where it's like handy because I'll take it off and I'll go like this, and then my glasses are kind of closed. But like a lot of times, it's just kind of annoying. And uh, Robin, hello! Baby has been sleeping for a couple of hours, so I'm sneaking into stream. Welcome on in! I got the urge to redecorate my island recently, and I've been watching a lot of your YouTube videos this last week. I'm glad I caught you on stream today. Spooky, thank you. Um, Have you been able to do some redecorating? Are you having fun? Because, I mean, honestly, kind of same. I So I just started... Where How am I tangled here? I just started decorating this island that we're working on today on Sunday, actually. Like, that was the first time we ever did anything. But then we were so, like, deep into talking that I really did not get much done. And then I looked at it after. I looked at it after stream and I was like, I kind of want to change it. So we're changing it today. Just a little bit, though. And Gianna, welcome on in. <sighs> the way you listed all our names, I was like, wait, what did I win? Bragging rights. Bragging rights. I came from one of your YouTube videos. I'm so happy to catch a live while I work on my new island. Astronaut, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the sub again. Um, 
My real name is actually Carrie. Olive works too. It's a nickname. Oh, I can say Carrie. We do have a Kiri. So maybe that'll be confusing sometimes. Or I can say Olive, whatever works best. If maybe if Olive is okay for you, I might say that because it's in the username. Maybe that's better just for like everyone who's who reads chat and stuff. I don't know. Oh my God, my phone. Uh, stop annoying me. I'm done with work for today. <sighs> I mean, not really, but with that work anyways. Fell asleep with my phone off the charger, so small lurk while I laid a charge. Of course, no worries. Uh, caught up on the Stardew stream. I loved it and it made me want to play, but I have a new island and a need, uh, and need to wait for the 1.6 to come to Switch. It's better this way though, Schmeggy, trust me. Having a new island and a new farm at the same time, it is a mess. It is absolutely a mess, so... Yeah, this it's better this way. Just enjoy, you know, enjoy playing on your new island if you are enjoying it. That is, uh, and then and then once the one point six update comes to the switch, then it's you know, yeah. I just got out of work, so I might lurk more than uh, more than not on my way home. Of course, Lena, welcome on in, and Luli, welcome on in. Hello, uh, and Alyssa, welcome on in. Time for coffee and lurking. Enjoy your coffee. I love your background behind you. Thank you, Dragonspire. Thank you. I'm procrastinating housework right now, so I'm going to have to go lurking soon. I'm going to miss a chunk later because I have a driving lesson. No worries, Shona. I, good luck, though. That's amazing. I'm still in spring. Nice. Also, Persephone, by the way, do, are you on Are you on Steam? Because I saw you playing Stardew and I was like, we're not even friends. <laughs> we're not even friends. So do you want to talk about why you decided not to paint your nails blue to match the Maw team after you, t you told us to? I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, all I can say is, all I can say is that I looked at my nail polish assistance and um, I, I grabbed the blue, but then I was like, wait, it's Easter. So should I maybe go for something more pastel colored? And then I chose this. I'm not sure I love it though. Uh, people responded to my Instagram story and were like, no, actually, you know, it's great. Um... Why be Steam friends when your profile is all private? <laughs> wait, okay, wait. Question though. Does that mean you don't see when when I play what? Is is that because I actually I sometimes ask myself how the pop-up says like Bumby is playing this or that, you know? Um, is that hidden? Nothing. <laughs> Mommy's like, I wanna see what you do. <laughs> We don't even see you online. Oh my god. Actually, that wasn't even intentional. I just didn't... I hate it. I want to stalk. You just, only so you can message me be like, what are you doing on Stardew? You're supposed to only play that on stream. All right. All right. I didn't even think that I did that. I just wanted to... Like, there were... I think I don't even know what I wanted to hide, really. Well, you know, I'm like a very private person, so really, well, I mean, you know. Uh, Karma is a cat and Angela, enjoy your lurks. Didn't you do that once, like seven days of streaming, or was that one of the YouTube video thingies? Um, actually, ignore my question, because it's way more important. Uh, I think I think I didn't do seven days of streaming. I did do seven days of Let's Play episodes, yeah. I did like an entire week of Let's Play episodes. I don't think I did seven days of streaming. Um... I had thought about it before, but like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how to do it with the job now. Um, Cause I'm like already struggling. And it, the, the thing is I'm basically just struggling in my mind and I'm scared that people will like forget about me on YouTube. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I'm struggling. I can't even lie about it. And was I done with the story? Anyway, I thought about like doing something more pastel color because of Easter time. I was like, maybe it ended up being a much more like, colorful or um, well cats it's not colorful it's just one color um much more vibrant that's it um <laughs> genuinely thought you said seven days of stripping for a second listen if you want to do that you know i mean valid not <laughs> valid um yeah ended up being much more much more vibrant than i thought and i don't know if i love it 100 percent, but we're rolling with it now yes I just finished my spring island. Now I'm working on a fall farm island. Bug, have fun. That would be the only downside. Totally understandable. Yeah. 
I have two switches and will sell one on April. So the light is the replacement. Oh, got it. So no new Island at Suns, but I just started a new one. Okay. Okay. Nice. I'm doing a paint by numbers while watching your YouTube videos. It's nice to catch a stream today. Was obsessed with Fave Farm the last few days. Oh, nice. Buffy, did you already enjoy the new update? Because Fave Farm had like also like a giant update, which I think is actually quite fun. I feel like I have no spoons left today. I just just like completely drained, but otherwise all right. Gianna, take it slow. I hope you can. I can just relax the rest of the day. Um, but it's good to hear that otherwise it's it's all right. And also, Eden, good luck with the villager hunting. Olive is perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm taking it slow because I have, have I have to work, though. Yeah, I get it. Spooky. Same thing here. My So I had a botanical garden island, Calathea, which got deleted. I've yet to make a video about it. Uh, and the new island was just brought up to three stars, but now it's just been chilling there for, like, days or weeks, really. Yeah. I will patiently wait for my Stardew era, yes. I may or may not have already started with some online shopping for my vacation in September. It, that's totally fair, Yan. I received an ASOS package today. Unfortunately, the only two out of nine shorts fit despite all of them technically being the same size. Ah, oh, yeah, online shopping, right? Yeah. I'll be kind of quiet as I'm on the bus home and I can't look at my phone much as it makes me feel sick. Oh yeah, no worries, Lauren, no worries. Listening in, sounds good, sounds good. Ah, is that mint candy apple by Essie? Uh, uh, no idea. I just I just put the polish away, so I don't I don't know. We don't see anything at all. We don't even see you online, and I hate it because I'm always like so. A lot of times after work and after I've done a bit of video editing, I'll switch over to my laptop on the sofa, and then I'll just be like, oh oh, you know, Chrissy's playing Stardew Valley. Really? Oh, actually, wait, I never see Bumby play anything either. Are you accusing me of being having a private profile and you also do? Is that what's is that what's happening here? <laughs> oh, has it been seven months? Abby, thank you for the seven months. Thank you so so much for the seven months of support. Thank you for the uh continued subbies. Thank you. I'll be mostly lurking since I've been avoiding work and I have to catch up today. No worries, Emily, you got this. Amelia, welcome on in. I think I'm wearing the exact same nail polish. Let's go. Yeah, it is definitely an SE one. I do have a lot of SE, which I, I I think they're not the best company to support. But now that I have them, I'll use them at least. I am on Steam. I didn't really realize you could have friends. I will be friends. Nice. Yeah, I mean, if you have your profile uh, public, people can see what you play. Just be aware. But I feel like y'all can see that on, on Discord, right? You can still see that on Discord, I think. We need to know what you're doing. Uh, living through an existential crisis around 90% of the time. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> I'm going to paint my nails blue there because I got inspired on Sunday. Nice, Anu. <laughs> oh, gosh. Also, Winter Girl, I dare you lurk. Welcome on in. Mm. And then Kata, welcome on in fully. Hello. I've been ill for a few days. I think it's affecting my brain. Oh, no worries. No worries. I hope you feel better soon, though. I was just thinking this morning, I wonder if there'll be a Sparksby stream today. Usually on Wednesdays, there always is. Alexis, welcome on in. Although, having said that, um, having said that, th there won't be a stream next Wednesday because I'll be at my sister's. I know, right? So there will be a stream this Saturday. We'll be playing some Stardew. And then I'll only be back the weekend after. So I don't know if we're going to do like Saturday and Sunday or just Sunday. I know I'm not really sure just yet, but um, yeah, just 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 so you know, no stream next Wednesday, only the weekend. <sighs> so, yeah. You deleted it. I missed that. Yeah, Swirene, welcome on in. I haven't done the YouTube video just yet because I'm still working on Encanto stuff and just making me think about how behind I am on everything kind of makes me want to cry. So yeah, but I, I deleted it, but I'm basically doing the same thing again. Like I, I still want to make a botanical garden island. It's just I need it like a clean slate, I think. I didn't spend much time on the update because I started a new save file. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then you have to grind through all the beginning stuff in Fae Farm as well. Yeah. 
There's a weird man on the bus and keeps he keeps looking at me. It's making me uncomfortable. Oh, Lauren, stay safe, please. Bambi's just not gaming lately. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Actually, Bambi was playing Animal Crossing, though, so there's that, you know? Can I ask what you do to your hair to make it so healthy? I've uh, also got curly, wavy hair. No matter what I do, it's always so dry and frizzy. Um, Not really much. So basically, I don't brush it ever. I never brush it. I, I use like a, I just use like a regular shampoo. Most of the time, like a solid one. Um, And I use like a conditioner to kind of brush my hair with my fingers. And then once I get out of the shower, I use like a microfiber towel and then start like scrunching them up and, and put like foam in it and stuff. Honestly though, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think, I, I cause I really don't do much. I don't do, I don't put like any oil in it or anything. And to be honest, also these are in desperate need of a cut. So I think if you were to talk to my hairdresser, she'd be like, Ooh, they're kind of dry, Maline. You should have maybe come to me like about like two months ago. Um, and so I think at this point, a lot of it is genetics um, because my body wakes, makes like way too much of the stuff that is needed to make like uh, hair and nails. Uh, so my nails are like literally unbreakable. My hair is super thick and grows very quickly and my like it even produces so much stuff that it all it comes out on like all of the pores of my arm so I think it's just genetics <laughs> but you know what I would rather take like thinner and drier hair than have the skin that I have so yeah <laughs> but I, I feel like I don't really do much to it but thank you for the sweet words yeah Now nine people in Steam can see my inactive profile. <laughs> yeah, because you never play anything either, Kat. My little sister sh says she loves your glasses. Oh, thank you. I feel like I gotta get rid of all these Detroit Become Human songs. I'm like actually kind of scared that they'll get claimed because I think they will. <sighs> I'm excited to see your German countryside island take shape. My ex-husband lived and has family in Freiburg and I spent several summers visiting. Oh, nice. I hope you enjoyed your time here. I actually shared um, like a reel the other day and then some people messaged me because they know, knew the creator. We're like, oh, do you do you know this creator? Like watch them. I was like, I have no idea. I just saw this reel and it uh, kind of featured like a uh, German small town. I was like, those are the vibes that I want kind of. And so I kind of shared it. Um, but yeah. I will see. I'm actually, I'm still very nervous about it because we didn't, we didn't get enough done on Sunday for me to be like, oh yeah, it's going into a good direction because I was, I was just like overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, do you also play games on PC? I do sometimes. It depends on the game itself. Um, I'm definitely more of a console person, I think. So um, if I get the choice between, you know, um, PC or console games, I'll probably choose console or like, I, for example, I've been playing Stardew on PC, but I use like my controller for it. But there are certain games like I would say, especially things where that just feel oh, wait, OK, if PC games basically only use your mouse to control it, then I'll probably like it. Anything like puzzly or something. So I, for example, I've played Garden Galaxy. I've played a little to the left. I've played a couple of find all um parts uh those i play on pc or of course sticky business but i feel like that's kind of an ad at the minute or like you know when i say that it's just gonna feel like an ad so <laughs> yeah uh coconut oil is also great for dry hair okay okay Keratin, yeah yeah if cat were to play anything we'd at least see it <sighs> Oh yeah, like hidden object games, true. I haven't played them in a while, but yes. You're so lucky you have terrible skin and super thin hair that falls out in gobs. Thanks to long COVID. Oh, I see. Oh, dang it, I'm sorry. All the new friends in my activity feed, I love it. I well, you know, haven't haven't um nothing's reached me, but I don't have it open, so there's that. <laughs> It's your stream. Do what you want. I already kind of do, though, right? 
Have you ever heard of or played Genshin Impact? I've heard of it, but I haven't played it. Oh, wait, I do have a new friend in my... Oh, I have two new friends. Hold on. I, I got f f notifications on my phone. Team. <laughs> so cool, yeah, enjoy your lurk. Um, yeah, I've heard of Genshin, but I won't be playing it. It's, at, it's not at all how... Like, my type of aesthetic, I think. Um, Persephone, okay. Accept, block, or ignore? I feel like block is the correct thing to do. Yep. And I think Kata also. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, block for sure. <laughs> Share your activity first. I feel like now it's just kind of funny that I don't, so, you know. <laughs> Understandable, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I kind of can be very picky when it comes to, um, when it comes to graphics. I think I'm not a PC gamer, but I'm trying to get into them with a controller, maybe. And I did forget all about my Sims playthrough. Oh, Sims, that's right. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like controller can definitely help. Plus, I think that a lot of games on Steam are getting more like controller friendly because of like Steam Deck compatibility that they're trying to push out more. Um, but I'm not a PC gamer either. Like the entire like arrow keys or like AWSD or whatever, um, or WASD. I don't know how VASD. I don't know how they say it in, in English. Probably WASD. <clears throat> ASD. Um, that doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like intuitive to me. I don't know. I do the same, but I do need to cut desperately. Maybe it is genetics, but maybe climate too. Oh, true. Uh, I'm in Ireland and the weather changes about 10 times a day. Super jealous of the fact you've got gray hair and nails and your skin. All oh my God, my skin is not clear, Shona. Don't let, please, don't let social media and lights and filters and distance from the camera deceive you. I absolutely do not have great, uh, great skin at all anywhere. Um, yeah, no, no, no. I, trust me, I've, I've got like pores and pimples and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. I looked like a swamp witch this morning. I, the same thing happens to me. Yeah, because like usually on stream, I only ever show like first day. What is this curl also? First day or um or second day hair. Like anything like after that. Oh, gosh. <sighs> I've been too lazy to wash my hair. So I used half a bottle of dry shampoo this morning. <laughs> Persephone with the anonymous profile picture. Highly suspicious. Highly suspicious. I did WASD for like two minutes. <laughs> I personally have a brain error on Fae Farm because I don't have noses. Oh, yeah. I've seen some people say that before, too. Where people are like, I can't play Fae Farm because the, the people don't have noses. It seems weird to me. Which I kind of get. I kind of get that. Yeah. I don't know. For me, like, I would have liked for Fae Farm to not be that far away from the characters but i think the fact that it is so far away from characters makes me not like makes me not really notice it but yeah true they don't really have noses i guess that's right isn't there other games that where they don't have i feel like that's not such an unusual thing maybe but maybe it is i love playing with wac I didn't know there were profile pictures until I saw all of yours. I think House Cat, same thing. So House Cat just recently got a um, a gaming laptop because she's been going through the withdrawal of like, you know, she wasn't able to play Garden Galaxy and then she wasn't able to to play like Townscape. Well, actually, Townscaper I think is on the Switch, but like Garden Galaxy and um, the Stardew up the Stardew update and um, I don't know a couple of other things probably. And so she got a gaming lap laptop and then made like a Steam account. And I, she doesn't have a profile picture either. I think every time she plays something, it's just this little question mark thing that slides up. It's like Cat is playing Stardew Valley. Oh, okay. Alec, also welcome on in. Welcome on in. Hello. Mm. Dry shampoo makes my hair look gray. Isn't there sometimes, yeah, if you've got dark hair, isn't there sometimes like dry shampoo with like tint, like tinted dry shampoo for like darker hair? Because I, I usually just use baby powder to be fair. But I feel like maybe that'll help. You can even buy profile pictures in the shop for Steam points or pick something you like or none at all. Oh, I don't want to pay anything for a profile picture, though. 
I feel like that's because I played Sims so much growing up. I'm used to the keyboard controls. Yeah. I'm used to that because of Fortnite. It took me a while though, but now it's intuitive. Yeah. I just got a gaming laptop too, and I spent too much time on The Sims 4 spring sale packs. Oh, I hope you're having fun though. That sounds good. Blow drying the dry shampoo helps a lot too. True, true. I like that part as well. Like I, I usually just pour a bunch in and then blow dry it as well. Yeah. I used to use baby powder too, but I feel like it was worse. Okay. And then also sometimes when I remember uh, to use it, I'll put it on actually the night before. So um, I'll, I'll kind of, you know, going to bed, I'll be like, oh, tomorrow I need to go this, uh, like wherever. And then I, I feel like my hair needs to look like a little bit better, but I, I know that I won't be washing my hair, but I know it won't look super great. So I'll actually put a little bit of baby powder in my hair before I go to bed. And then I feel like it actually works really well because I feel like it probably just gets massaged in overnight. I don't know how good it is for your scalp or anything to be fair, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's also sometimes what I do. And then I feel like it doesn't have quite as much residue. Yeah, powdered dry shampoo instead of aerosol, yeah. Because I like that better too. Also, um, which welcome, or Hazel, welcome on in. I tried, I once tried the Lush dry shampoo. I remember hating that one, uh, but just regular baby powder I quite like. You get Steam points whenever you buy a game for or for special occasions, so you don't have to pay any extra. Okay, I feel like I should know this, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, putting it on before your hair gets to the greasy helps. Yes, exactly. I never use any sort of baby powder or dry shampoo. I either rock the grease or wash. <laughs> it makes my hair static or oh, same, same Shona. It does that for me too. Also, Sarah, hello, welcome on in. Yeah, all the steam, all the steam tips for us console gamers. It's it's kind of wild, right? I was like a console gamer, and now I I work for an indie game dev, and they obviously make like PC games, and I'm like, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I totally do. Yeah, maybe it's age too because I used to use it all the time, but lately it's like not working. Yeah, maybe it's like age or like you know just like hormonal changes. Yeah. Mm, how turntables, I know. It's a little scary. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but then I'm told that other people feel like this too. Like everyone just feels like they're cosplaying an adult. So, yeah. I've been covering up the grease with a beanie when I'm feeling lazy. I love people that can rock that style. I can't, I look ridiculous. Oh, I did have a baby also, so maybe that screwed everything up. You know what? I think that does change like hormo hormones and stuff. So yeah, in the end, they're all games and the platform doesn't really matter all that much. True. I never get greasy hair because my dry scalp and since I've been using this medicated shampoo, I actually get greasy hair and I need it. I need to get used to it. The fact that you don't get greasy hair is so weird to me because my hair gets greasy. Like I wash my hair today. It'll be greasy tomorrow. Like I will, if if tomorrow I want to like record any type of content or whatever, I need to put in some baby powder and I probably also need to re-wet a couple of pieces so that I can make the, like I can re-alive the curls, you know? So I really, that's one, I hate it. But I get greasy hair so quickly. And then I hate, I hate those reels. Not that it's anyone's fault, because this is just genetics, right? But, like, I hate those reels where they're, like, asking, like, hairdressers when they last washed their hair. And then they're always like, ooh, like, eight days ago. <laughs> and it looks, like, fabulous. Um, and, and like, a lot of people only wash their hair, like, once per week or something. It, how? How? And then I'm get, I get so annoyed. Okay, so I'm a content creator, right? And a lot of my content is me in front of a camera. Like I'm a, in front of a camera on stream. I used to be in front of a camera for every like Let's Play episode. Sometimes I make like Instagram stories. I really want to start getting into short form content. And I obviously have to film short form content for work. So I'll be in front of the camera a lot of times. But the fact that my hair gets greasy like every second day makes that so hard because I feel like I can't just whip out a phone or or a camera and be like, okay, let's just record something. No, I always have to like specifically get ready to do that. Like I have to prep my hair, either like wash it or like, I don't know, you know, refluff it, bring the curls back, whatever. And then I also 
I, I, I also have to put on like makeup. Like it always takes me so much time to get ready that like that, that effort and that, I don't know, that beginning thing that you need to do to start filming content is always so much work. Ah, it makes me so angry. <laughs> It makes me so angry. I feel like if, if that wasn't the case, it'd be so much easier to film. But I feel like I'd probably find other excuses then because I just like to find stuff that, you know, I can blame all of that on it. But still, still, my hair also gets greasy pretty quickly and me keeping it very short also doesn't help the matter. Yeah. It hindered me from sleeping sometimes because it was just so itchy. I still have a very itchy scalp though. Like me having oily hair or greasy hair very quickly doesn't mean that my scalp it's not is not itchy, you know? <laughs> not to be like, ooh, I have it so much worse. No, no, no. But like just generally. I was very hormonal until about five months ago, but it's definitely brought on the acne. I'm trying a new face wash, which seems to be helping, but I should probably get my hormones checked to be fair. I mean, if you can, Shona, that'd probably be great. But I mean, we all know how like doctor's visits can sometimes like take a lot of energy. So if you're finding something that works for you at the minute, that's also totally valid to kind of, you know, use and be happy about. Have you guys seen the videos explaining how people in their 20s and 30s look so much younger now than people in their 20s and 30s in like the 1930s and 80s? I have not. I have a huge problem with my hair whenever I get it, let it air dry. Like on Sunday, I washed my hair and let it air dry accidentally. It was already greasy on the same day. Yeah. I only wash my hair once per week. Out. <laughs> I wash my hair for 10 days. There's the door. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm that person. I apologize for it any time I bring that fact up. Oh god. I hate you a little bit. It's okay though. You can you can stay, but I do hate you like a little bit. <laughs> you have to double or triple. I, the best way to get to those second, third, or even a week later wash days, you have to double or triple cleanse your hair. Don't just do one shampoo. That won't do anything. Trust me. Trust me. I have double, triple cleansed. I have I've tried. I just, I feel like also that entire thing, you know, where sometimes people go for like no poo or whatever, like for a month they go without washing their hair. And then apparently it gives them like an extra day of fresh hair. I feel like that's total bullshit. I think that doesn't work. I don't think you can train your hair to do anything. I think this is just hormones, uh, not hormones. I think this is just genetics. Like as much as you get like oily skin or, or, have like dry skin or if you're prone to acne or not like part of that is just genetics yeah it's called no poo i think it's i don't know it's ridiculous <sighs> apparently i feel quite passionate about this too <laughs> i wash my hair like once a week otherwise it's really dry and i have to use hair oil to combat the fr combat the fr frizz after washing i wash it like three times a lot of, a lot of the time I grew up playing on PC and then uh, as a teenager hit my Nintendo era ever since I struggle with keyboards a lot more. Yeah, I played a bit of Minecraft and that worked somewhat well, but I always get confused. Yeah, same. Think of it like skincare. You want to cleanse your scalp and give yourself a clean canvas. Yeah, but like I've tried. I've tried, you know. My hair also gets greasy so quickly, but my scalp is, scalp is still so dry. Exactly. I'm also in the greasy hair after a dame team. It worked better when it was short. I could somewhat work with every three days and some dry sh shampoo on the second day. But other than that, it's just annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Also clean your brush. See, I don't even brush my hair. I don't even uh, brush my hair. I have a habit of falling asleep with my hair damp and it's greasy at AF when I wake up. Oh, that happened to me too. I do everything my hairdresser tells me and my hair still looks like shit day two. Yeah, same thing, Grissy. Same. I blow dry my roots after washing and seems to give my roots more volume and helps with the grease. Okay. I wash my hair once a week, but mine looks terrible after two days, but I work from home, so I just don't look in the mirror. Yeah. I mean, you know, technically I also work from home, but like we have daily meetings with a face cam. And, uh, and also, you know, streams and stuff. I started using the shampoo from Nope and it's actually changed my life. I'm a wash every day or it's greasy person my entire life. And I've tried all the things with this. I can get two days. Oh, shampoo from Nope. Okay. I haven't heard of that before. 
Clarifying shampoo followed by standard shampoo and conditioner, 36 hours max, and my hair is greasy again. Yeah. It is genetics, but I have my clients with oily scalp get to day three without losing their minds with this triple cleanse trick and also good products. Okay. Every time I do more than one shampoo, it weighs my hair down and makes it flat and greasy faster. Oh. Yeah, social media is full of stuff like that, and people, especially younger people, try it and it doesn't work or make it even worse for them. Yeah. What products are you using, if you don't mind me asking? I have I have no idea. Uh, I use like a foamy shampoo bar. And then I think I use... It's not good stuff, y'all. I it's I don't it's, I'm sorry, it's not good stuff. But then I have the Garnier like t like hair food tubs a lot of times, or like just drugstore things. <laughs> my, bo my boyfriend's brother stopped washing his hair with shampoo completely because of the belief that shampoo is bad for you. Mm. I have a dry scalp. Dandruff is a, con a constant state and it still gets greasy when I look at it wrong. Yeah. Sometimes I forget to shower because of being in pain or depression. Totally okay, Sarah. Totally okay. Uh, okay. I touch my head and hair a lot. That's certainly not helping either. Yeah, same. I think. Same. <laughs> I wash the top of my hair and then bring it down, then only condition the bottom. And I found that helps. Conditioner makes my hair oily if I use it on my scalp. I don't use conditioner on my scalp, though. I think I only ever use it like in, in the length, I guess, to detangle a little bit. Yeah. Uh, in regards to you guys discussing hormonal acne, I finally went to a dermatologist about my beard line acne and dark hair on chin. Turns out it's an excess of testosterone. I got a prescription for spirolactin and my acne is gone. That's awesome. That's amazing, Alexis. I think my... This is super noisy every time I put down my arm. It's so healing to read and hear that many people here struggle with greasy hair and stuff. Much love to the Wobbly Fam for being so real and open and lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Shona, no worries. I use the Lavera Natural Shampoo for moisture. That probably isn't a thing everywhere, though. Yeah, like just like me, I sometimes use the conditioner, the Palia conditioner, but that's, I think, not going to be a thing everywhere. Yeah. I have wavy hair too, and I only brush it when I dye it. Yeah, if I if I separate the waves, it just poofs and looks and feels all wrong. That might be a neuro spicy thing, though. No, if I were to brush, if I were to brush, I think I'd probably destroy some of the waves I've got going on. Honestly, it, obviously these are. I mean, some people would say like, you don't have curls, you have waves, whatever we call them. There's like something happening. Um, if I were to brush these, I'd probably destroy a lot of them, but then my hair would be like, probably like, at least like here. <laughs> my shampoo I use is Love Beauty and Plant and I love it. Oh, I've heard of that before. Yeah, I can go three days before my hair gets greasy. Nice. I'm lucky on the acne front. I've never had acne. I've only ha had a pimple here or there and black hats on my nose. Oh yeah, the the black hats and pores on my nose are our thing. If anyone needs to get rid of some extra and unwanted testo, I would take it with a hand kiss. Oh, imagine it worked like that. That'd be so great. I got a steam picture now. Cat, let's go. Let's go. The weird thing for me is my mom can get weeks without, without washing and her hair looks perfect. Same for my dad and brothers. I got the easy, greasy hair from my grandma. Out of all things I could have gotten from her, I get this. Oh. Now, I think our family, we all get greasy hair pretty quickly. So, like, really, it's no wonder still annoyed but that's like one of the that's one of the things why i don't like i don't see myself with long hair i feel like this is already too long i feel like it looks okay-ish like it, the, the roots are definitely like a little too dark i would say but like all in all i think it's okay-ish but it's just i having to wash all of this every second day you know uh barry also enjoy your lurk yeah it do be fun it do be fun. And I'm just also, you know, I'm 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 gonna be honest, I'm just not really used to having to be presentable every day. Cause a lot of times when I'm like not streaming or not recording anything, I'll be like a little a little editing gremlin and I'll sit here with my hair all weird and disgusting and greasy. And it's not greasy doesn't mean disgusting. We should also try to 
you know, put that in their heads, but you know, greasy hair and I just sit there and I just exist, but I can't, I feel like I can't really do that anymore because of like the daily meetings and I'm not very used to it anymore because I haven't really done that since like 20, 2019, 2020, 2020. Yeah, I'm an editing gremlin. I am. I am. I have mental pictures now. I low-key want for somebody to draw the situation. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bumpy. And Savage, welcome back. I used to always have like an irritated scalp and itchy eyes after showering. I recently found out I'm allergic to some ingredients. It's basically in every soap, so now I've had to switch out everything. Oh my god, Alec, I feel that. Sometimes I get my my eyes get really red. Like I rubbed stuff into my eyes, but I feel like I don't. So I don't really understand. And I get these, like, I get these red spots, like itchy red spots, almost like a must it looks kind of like a small mosquito bite after showering and i've literally tried and it still happens um when i use like no product at all and sometimes it even happens like when it's really hot during the summer and i start like sweating around my neck especially like neck and i think like arms and i get these like itchy spots sometimes and i'm like am i allergic to water or <laughs> what's happening it's fun it's 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 really 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 fun it's a pig. No, it's not like pimples. It's like actually, and they go away again. It's just like really itchy, itchy spots that look like tiny mosquito bites. When you're itchy after a shower, it means you're allergic. I think a lot of times when like you're itchy, it's kind of like allergies, right? Sounds like water allergy. Great. Uh, I'm the grilled cheese. Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. And also, Anxuna, welcome on in. I turned off starting for now because my wrist is starting to hurt again. I see carpal tunnel syndrome in my future. Just gamer things. Do you have one of those mouse pads with the slightly elevated or the special like mouse thingy? I get the same. They're just called that. They're filled with water and itch. Well, maybe. I don't know. I thought I was the only one that gets really bad on my legs. For me, it's most of the time like my my uh my neck or like um I forgot the word. Uh or my my arms. And I think especially where the skin is like very sensitive. You can get be itchy after a shower from dry skin too. But I feel like that's different because I feel like that's just the general skin being itchy. But then I don't have spots, you know? Like I don't have throat, thank you. <laughs> I, I speak English. What about you? Decolleté. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a sun allergy. I get the same whenever I stay in the sun for too long. Okay. Fun, fun things. None of us are made to exist. You know, sometimes I think about this fact that like, don't take this the wrong way. We all have like our, like we all deserve to exist and, and, and all that, all that stuff. But, like sometimes I think about how, you know, how over decades and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, the humans and any other animal species was like carefully developed because like to survive through everything going on, what are we doing? I mean, Kat and I have talked about this multiple times because we're both like allergic to pretty much anything ex in existence. Like back in the day when when people you had to hunt for food and stuff, God, we would have been gone so quickly because like Kat is allergic to the sun and to like pretty much any like um, sun blocker. Also, I I get I apparently maybe allergic to like water. I, it's just we do adapt, though. But like. <laughs> Do you have hard water? Apparently not really in this flat. In central England, they can have high lime content in water, the mineral, not the fruit. So I get that extra almost rash type skin when I go, go and visit family with their garbage water. Actually in this flat, we're supposed to, we're not, we don't really have hard water. Um, and we don't have like bad residue around our sinks and stuff. I get hives all over my shoulders and chest. It's so weird. They go away after a couple minutes, but they're so itchy. Yeah, same, same. To believe I was the fastest swimmer honestly sounds fake. I truly think I just spawned. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we came and fucked everything up. Yeah, Hobbsy, welcome on in. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was that too, but I've recently moved to an area where there, we have soft water now. It's still the same. Yeah, maybe some other water stuff. True. Tell that to my cat who is literally allergic to cats. My sister's dog is also allergic to like everything, like everything. We're made to be inside people and those who don't have allergies are meant to be the outside people. Yeah, true, true. I guess you're right. We do adapt. The daughter of a coworker is allergic to her own sweat because I feel like that's me too. <laughs> And I sweat very quickly too. I don't know if this is too much too much information also, but like that's one of the reasons why I hate summer so much because it's just it makes me feel like disgusting and sticky a lot of times. But yeah. Our water is literally UNESCO Weltkultur Erbe. Okay, okay. I'm so jealous of people that don't have hard water. It's terrible where I live. Yeah, hard water is super annoying. Summer is garbage. True. True. Shout that from the rooftops, please. Uh, also, Vintage Angelic, welcome to the chat. Hello. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Like, I'm sorry people suffer, but I legit thought I was crazy. And so did everyone I've ever mentioned it to because they think I'm mad in the head. No. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Book. <laughs> Book. Thomas and Jerry Lurk and Julia, welcome on in. Thank you for the 35 month resub at tier two. Julia, thank you so much for the continued support. Thank you. And then there's my dog rescued from Romania. He recently stole my dad's Hawaiian pizza and was perfectly fine. He's never been sick and it's just so sturdy. Yeah, not my sister's dog. Not my sister's dog. <laughs> I sweat so much too and I hate wearing any colors beside black because of its same, same serum. I start sweating while in the shower in summer. I feel like, oh my God, yes. If you're allergic to your own sweat, you should drink horse milk. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> People who actually like summer don't mind swimming in their own sweat when sleeping or sus to me, but that's not everyone sweats, you know? Not everyone sweats either. I remember like we used to have this, um, like our village always had this like one festival per year and we used to kind of like do a dance for it. And so the dance rehearsals were every single Sunday from like late spring up until early fall. So um, basically all throughout summer. And I remember um, there were there were people there like it was always me and this one other woman um we were just always like so sweaty and we just always stood there like oh my god and then there were other people like literally they looked i don't know like dry as heck so really i just i don't get it you know the weather is only just getting warm and i'm ready for it to be autumn again i yeah same same crazy week at work so i'll be comfy lurking of course no worries I love summer when it's windy and partly cloudy. It's still too warm for me, though. You know, everyone sweats, but not everyone sweats the same amount. Yep. Yep. People who don't sweat deserve their pillow to be warm on both sides. <laughs> Saying this out of pure jealousy. <laughs> My brother's dog is allergic to dust mites, so that's fun. That's me. I'm allergic to dust mites. Great. Great times. It's okay though. You just can't clean that often because then you don't like, you don't, they don't like attack you as much. Just, you, you just gotta let them do their stuff. <laughs> One of my dogs is allergic to grass and dust. It's better now because we got them allergy shots and meds. Oh God, but grass and dust. So outside bad and inside bad. Oof. I sweat more in the winter than in the summer, maybe because of wearing sweaters and stuff. But no, I, pref I prefer winter, I think. Sound off. Are you a dry or a wet? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I always stare at people without sweat all over their face and ask myself, how? Yeah. 
I'm allergic to dust. Same, same thing. Also, moth will come on in. <sighs> yeah, no. I think we just have Viking blood. We're made for cold climates. That must be it for sure. That must that must be the explanation. There's no other. There's no other reason. No, I I if we had like 20 degrees the other day and I was like, okay, this is that's fine, but like this is where we cap it, please. But it's gonna go up to like 35 for weeks on end, and I already I can't deal with it. I already don't want to do it. I'm telling you now. I need to be, yeah, in March. In March. I live like in the south of Germany, and it's always like a couple degrees hotter here than the rest of Germany, which is we don't talk about it. Um, but yeah, I need to be like rich enough that just during the summer, I just, I don't know, I just move somewhere else maybe where it's like colder. <laughs> That's never going to happen. But it's nice to think, right? I'm allergic to, to cats, dogs, horses, grass, does different trees and have allergy asthma. So it's a hell from like now until October. Yeah, Hobbsy, I'm sorry. Let's just move in with Persephone. True, honestly. I, every time, every time it hits summer, I'm jealous of her. The max temperature I can tolerate is 25 when there's a slight wind. Yeah. Summer depression actually is also a thing, Chrissy. Yeah, but it's just not as widely accepted. But it is, I've read about it a few times. 23 is my limit. It's like the inner circle of hell for me. Yeah. I don't understand how people can wear clothing out of like polyester because I sweat like 10 times more in them than I already do and they get so smelly so fast. True. Yeah. It was a polar bear in a past I was a polar bear in a past life because I love cold weather. Everyone else is shivering and I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm a summer person. I come alive between 18 and 25 degrees, but if it gets over 30 with some humidity, my body goes burnt and stops working. I stop working between like anything, anything upwards of, let's say, like 25. I just sit here and I just I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm only allergic to kiwi, pineapple and IRL social activities. <laughs> yeah, both houses next door are going for sale soon. Oh, the bright sunshine triggers migraines for me. It kind of does for me too. And then so um, a lot of houses where I live have been like previously like like recently built. So they're all like brand new and very white houses. And so the sun really reflects off of them. And so that just makes it all so much worse, I think. My life ends, uh, ends above 23 degrees. Yeah. I'm allergic to the sun and nickel. Yeah, Phoenix, welcome on in. I have year round depression. I don't get depressed in summer. I get irrationally angry because I just hate everything in summer. Same, same. No, I, I think I constantly have just this like underlying anger in summer. It's kind of like being, honestly, I think hormonal wise, like mood wise, it's kind of like I'm about to be on my period all throughout summer just because the slightest thing can like tip me off and, and tip me over into that like, <laughs> you know? I think that's me in summer. It's just always like close to... Yeah. My mom and dad built a pool last summer, so I know where we're spending hours. Yeah, nice. How much would I need to win in the lottery? Good question for the house buying. Yeah. And then actually having your period in summer. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I'm on edge when it's hot. Yep. One thing about summer that constantly puts me on edge, wasps. Yes. But doesn't life seem so much easier when the weather is nice? Nah. -uh. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Hear me out. We're talking like 20 degrees, somewhat ish. There's some clouds, you know, and so the sun isn't like fully there the entire time, but it just kind of comes and goes. Yes. In that case, yes. I probably would prefer that over a rainy day a lot of times, especially those rainy days where it's just like really dark. I would probably prefer that over a rainy day. However, when the sun is just like constantly there, like there's no cloud to be seen, it makes me not want to go outside because it actually already makes me like feel like it's summer, even though it might not be that hot outside. And just like the, the heat in addition to that, 
No. <laughs> no. Everyone I know IRL thinks I'm super weird for hating Summer. I hate when that happens. But yeah. Lots of people, lots of IRL people always say that. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm dizzy, don't touch me! Yes. I'd rather be cold because I can always add more layers. Yeah, exactly. But if I'm hot, there's only so many, uh, so many layers I can take off. Yep. Summer and sunny weather just kind of reminds me of what I feel like I should do, like going outside and having fun. But I can't because of my mental health. So I'm actually often more depressed in summer than in winter. Also, also very valid point. And I think also happens to me. Yeah, because then when I look outside and the sun is like super there, I'm like, oh, I should probably go outside today, right? But then I don't want to. Yeah. And the problem is that it's like not one day, it's weeks on end. Yeah, with like just sun and just heat. Yeah. 20 degrees with floating sun is ideal. Rain or constant sun is a heart limit. Yes. Yes. Welcome on in fully, Lena. Welcome on in. I need the clouds. Me too. I'm warm all the time anyway. Yeah, exactly. I was lurking, but the wasp. I need to say that these things drive me crazy and I want to cry. I'm a vegetarian, but these things can, can, can go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, wasps are no fun. Wasps, I think, have no right to exist. You can probably do without them, right? I think we can probably do without them. Bees are important. I don't know about wasps. Yeah. No worries, Marley. Because of my sun al allergy, I couldn't even go outside to sit in the sun and enjoy the nice weather because I'll be covered in itchy blisters all over uh, afterwards. <sighs> so fun. Angela, no worries. I hope work is going well for you. I feel like, you know, we just had food and I feel like I'm entering this sort of like, I'm so sleepy and like so tired. So if I seem like a little bit low energy at this point, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't know. We we were just we were just watching uh, Mini Molly stream before and she just did last week. She did like a 12 hour stream every single day. Don't know how she did it. But then today she was kind of talking about this thing where every time like the um, once you started stream, like it's fine. And I feel like I kind of also use this like it's still it still takes a lot of my energy, but I also do still let like use this as my own free time activity I think and I use this to kind of de-stress and just play a little bit of of my games and like interact with you all but then every time you have to like gather up the courage to start streaming and like gather up your energy like that part is that part can be like quite hard and I was like oh yeah I, I I feel that I don't think wasps pollinate even I oh they are pollinators so we can't even kill them anymore I want to kill them Uh, Nanerman, welcome on in. I finally found my people. I hate anything over 20 or 21 degrees. I don't like being freezing indoors, but I love that cold, crisp weather outdoors. It gets so sweaty in the summer. I hate it. The sun is too bright all year round for me, and I suffer from migraines too, so it makes it much worse. Also makes me sneeze, and I despise wasps. Yeah. My only problem with summer is feel all the energy inside waking up. I want to do stuff without anything that gives me an actual occasion. I can't go outside because depression. Yeah. Oh my god, Arudia, same thing here. So they're doing like construction around ever since we moved in pretty much. But like usually when the windows are closed, it's kind of fine. I think yesterday I wanted to like sit outside for like five minutes, maybe a little bit longer, maybe 10. Because it was one of those like sun and cloud days. And I was like, oh, you know what? Let's just enjoy a little bit of fresh air at, at least. And I sat outside and they started like, I don't know what what the heck they were doing. But they started this incredibly, like, super obnoxious, loud drilling. And then they would do it, like, a couple of times. And then it would stop. And you'd always be like, oh, they're done. And then they would start back up again. And I was so overstimulated. I I got, like, really, really frustrated. Oh, I'm afraid the cats will get stung, though. Oh, my God. I'm still gonna, if they come in my house, anything with more than four legs has got to die. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be honest, any wasps that get close to me will perish. I made an insect hotel a couple blocks from my flat, so I hope it evens out. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. I'll give them a chance to get out, but if they don't, I'll kill them. I don't care. 
Waspers are so stupid most of the time. Like, they get into the room, but not out. Yeah, same thing for flies and anything else, though. Ah, oh, Rudy, I'm sorry. Do you have, like, noise-canceling headphones or something like that? It's been alternating between sunny and hailing all day today. I hate that. Ooh, I hate that. I do allow small spiders to live in my house. Cat? They catch all the gnats and little flies? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I Okay, I will never be visiting Cat. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? No, 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 no. I, spiders, no. And most of the time, Cat has to kill them because I'm, like, actually too afraid of them. My cat loves to hunt wasps. What? They die very quickly because that furball loves to eat them. Isn't that dangerous? Spiders are friends? No, they're not. They're not. I have a size limit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I still, I still, mm. we get wasps constantly. They're such jerks. Yeah. They intentionally dive bomb and attack just for walking by. Oh, God. I'm also almost always cold in winter. I have to sleep in so many layers. I get annoyed by it. Today was also very perfect spring weather. 14 degrees, sun, some clouds. You can go outside in a sweater and don't need a jacket. I was very happy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm... Sometimes I get cold, but I've, I'm more prone to overheating, I think. And then I don't know. I've I've actually had, I think I need to go outside more because recently I went outside and I felt like very, I felt very, very, very uncomfortable in my own skin. And it wasn't, it wasn't great. I think I need to kind of get used to it a little bit more. No one but myself is allowed in my apartment. Yep. I let spiders live in my house too. Vinegar will keep spiders away, though. Most things probably interesting. When I was 11, I broke my arm trying to run away from a wasp in the park. More legs, more hugs, moth. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Ew. Oh. I, I literally get itchy reading that. Not in my kitchen sink is a whole arsenal specifically for creepy crawly warfare. Yeah. And Charlie Lane will go on in. There was an earthquake on Monday where I live. Really? Interesting. Cat e cats eating wasps is, is so dangerous they could sting their throats. That's what I thought. One day I was taking a shower and a wasp flew in the shower with me and left out on the other side. What the heck? <laughs> Selena, welcome on in. I'll be popping in on my breaks from work today. I hope everyone was having a nice day. No worries. No worries. I hope work is going well. We either got spiders or house centipedes. Oh, oh I feel like we should get into some Animal Crossing now, y'all. I can't do this any longer. Oh, peppermint oil repels both wasps and spiders. Nice. I found Flurry. I'm sad I can't take her. Oh, who are you looking for? Also, didn't I call you Akita? I think. I was calling you Eden, but I think I I we agreed on me calling you Akita, maybe. Or Akita. I cannot deal with this creepy crawly chat, yeah. House crickets. From real life insects to pixel insects. Yay! When there's a, a spider on my ceiling in some corner, it doesn't move. I let it exist. Once it moves, it's on sight. Yeah. No, I can't. Spiders, spiders and me, not happening. Okay. Let's head into some Animal Crossing because I want to try and get some stuff done today. Um, I've been here for two seconds and I'm itchy. I'm sorry. We'll stop. We'll stop. For all of our sakes, really. Okay, category should be should be changed. Now let's see if my camera freezes. Okay, so far so good. Capture card not frozen either. Now that I said it, it'll happen. Uh, it'll probably happen. Okay, let me turn this down. So what time, or actually wait for a little bit longer. What time should I go to? Should we do, I don't know if, if um, if Polina refunded herself, should we do the... 
Okay, wait, I gotta focus for a second. Hold on. Because me always trying to do seven things at once never works. Okay, so that should be should be working. Uh, what time should we go to? Should we go to a time where we can go to Able Sisters or just go to the right time right away? Sausage Malene. <laughs> After nine for, for Fashionista. I might have done the early th stuff, but maybe not. Um... No, no, no. We'll start software for now. Usually I do updates for the Switch right away, but not today. My grandma is a pet black widow. No. I'm for nine. No, 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 no. <laughs> Golden hour, please. No, Bumby. No, no. You have done, you've done enough. <laughs> what is that Animal Crossing box ev thing? Uh, that is basically what helps you to move your island from one switch to another. So if you don't have like multiple switches and you need to move your island, then you basically don't really need it. It's just the Animal Crossing Island Transfer Tool, I think it's called. Stop, stop. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Kat, thank you for the 69 bitties. I appreciate it. <sighs> working on getting three stars bug let's go let's go let's go um i don't know oh i'm looking for ken or greta from a japanese island oh i think it's always just been eden okay if eden is okay for you i'll keep doing that then <laughs> um we'll check we'll check what uh the able sisters has and then i guess like add on to it we don't always need to have a funny hat i guess and then Bumby said, like, tell me, tell us your thoughts. Yeah, so we really did not get much done today. Uh, uh, let's start that again. We did not get much done on Sunday. There we go. Um, so there's not that much that you can look at. But the things that we have done, I think I've really changed. <laughs> You know, um, also, I did try my hand. So I did try my hand at a little bit of pixeling and I tried to make like a little a little sign um, like the the German, the German um, village sign thingies. <laughs> Which says Kefian. <laughs> Vanessa, welcome on in. Because it's that's very German, right? Someone said that in, in stream the other day, and I was like, ooh, I want to try. I want to try. So it's not, I'm not like a pixel artist or anything, and I kind of struggle a bit with, um, with like how exactly to do it, but it's basically, so it says Kefian, and then underneath, it usually says something like, um, Gemeinde, whatever. So that's just like gibberish, really, but it's just kind of, yeah, maybe an idea. Yeah, it's good. It's cute. Okay, good, good. I couldn't send ahead anyways. I switched islands, and since I refuse to update my switch, I can't change islands. No worries, Chrissy. No worries. All right. I'm glad that you like it, though, because I didn't hate it. What Gemeinde is Kevin part of, though? Um, Sparksby Hausen. <laughs> I don't know. When I did this, I then was like, wait, we're having multiple... We're having multiple little... Um, villages and then it was like do i have to make like separate signs for the different villages but then it's all or do i just reuse this every time that there's like a small little that there's a small little um area i mean sometimes i think there are these villagers that are like torn apart across a few different areas but they're all like still considered the same district or like at least or the same village or at least the same district does that make sense so maybe i can just reuse the sign sometimes we'll see wobblehausen yeah maybe as starters were Hazel and Hazel and who? Floof Floofstead. <laughs> Baby girl, thank you for the follow up one in. Tank. Yeah, Tank and Hazel were the starters. So this is basically what we ended up with last time. I'll do the fashionista in a second, by the way, just to kind of explain to you what's going on. So this is Hazel's house right here. We did redo it and then we moved, I think, Camo Frog, and I gave Camo Frog's house a um a different customization which i think actually works quite well to be honest at 6 a.m when everything is much darker i actually might prefer the one in the background 
Um, and then the path just kind of leads over here. We did think about having a player house here, maybe like a small-ish player house of someone that we're still, we still have to bring onto the island. Um, and so then two of the villager houses, a player house and a resin services are going to form that like first little village, I guess. And then I think we ended and we were saying like this here could be like a little pond or something. And then this part here to the left, like this here could maybe just be like a field, um, or something. Um, now, two things I generally I think will be struggling with. So because I'm using the in-game path, I have this like urge to plan everything right away, <laughs> like plan where everything is going. And I also kind of so there won't be any cliffs on this island. And I also kind of wanted to try and keep like the initial river, at least like that part of the river. Um, there was like a little part like going onto a cliff in the back, but I kind of removed that one. But this one I might want to try and keep. And so I've kind of been struggling with the fact like if this connects to like a bridge, let's say over here, like what I what do I do with like the space that's like behind the houses here? Because it's like kind of too small or I might like do a path like past it, but there's like maybe a lot of space wasted. I'm not entirely sure. So that's like one of the things i was struggling with and uh wasted egg roll and lemons lemons only for real thank you for those follows welcome on in um okay a second thing i'll talk about in a second let me catch up we could use it in several spaces there are some very drawn out villages in germany okay yes do your small towns do this weird twin town thing and on the welcome to xyz road sign underneath it'll say paired with some random town in italy or something oh yeah Partnerstadt. Atnerstete. That's like, yeah, yeah, we do that. We do that. Not a lot, but but some. Cruella, also, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I like the new one for Camor Fog. Yay, let's go. Also, Sienna, welcome on in. The sand dirt where it looks uh, so good on your island. Do you uh, have the code? So it's just the in-game pathing, but then it has these like borders on it. And the code is uh, on my website. So sparksby.com slash kefian or you can navigate if you just type like sparksby.com, you can navigate to it. I also added the code picture, so it's a little bit easier to find now. Um, okay, and then the other thing that I was kind of struggling with, I added these few trees because like from this particular angle here, it felt like there was something missing between... Um, which I think the trees kind of take care of now, but I felt like there was something tall-ish missing between the houses and the resident services so i thought about having like a um another house to the front but it's like way too close to the entrance so that didn't really happen i put some trees here and i think it helps however i still think that i want to change this a little bit so if we have a house over here i think like this could be a good group of houses maybe like this house resident services and one house on the left but then also i would like for this to be slightly different and I think what I'm going to do, or I'm going to tell you this, you tell me if that sounds like a decent idea or if you think this is better. But the, what I was thinking of doing is I'll take Hazel's house, which is the one that's closer to us. I'll take that one and move it a little bit further to this side. So where the diagonal part is. And then the other one is actually going to move on toward the left side and a little bit closer to the front. So they're kind of more... They're more like in this shape. No, wait, wrong way around. I don't know. Do you know what I mean, though? <laughs> because right now I feel like it's this kind of like curve like this, but then it'd, it'd be like more, I don't know. Or was I thinking of moving the house in the back further just to the left and not further to the front? I'm actually kind of confusing myself right now, but I think I want to change something is what I'm saying. <laughs> But definitely move Hazel's house further to the right hand side. So, so Hazel's house, I think, would be more on the line of this house here, just kind of more to the front, like somewhat here. And then the other one, I guess we'll see, might have to be either just to the left or to the left and front. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. I learned that my city has seven sister cities. Ooh, wow. I love the idea. Oh, I love the ideas and layout that was already gathered. Thank you, Shmaigi. I love that. Do it. Okay. I think I understand, oh, but only a third of my brain was listening, so I'm not sure. 
I'm building the ferry with which island, but the setup is making me want to change from the natural part to the more road type of path. I mean, you still could though, right? Uh, Alec and Jerry Lurk and also Shrek's Pookie. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. All right, Paulina, I'm not sure if you're listening right now, um, but here are the things that are in store. And now I guess it depends. These sweaters are really cute. I guess it depends on whether you want to torture me or actually pick something cute. But here are the options. So you can do cardigan shirt combo, a color block dress shirt. You can do delivery jacket. Beautiful. Tennis sweater. Uh, or a thief's costume. and Or, of, of course, there's like a couple of things here. We've got farmer overalls today and a pinafore and suspender outfit. Ruby, welcome on in. The white tennis sweater. Okay, I'll do that. There we go. Sweet, please torture her. Bumby, bumby, bumby. Melina's so fast with the fashionista every time. Yes. All right, and then we have cropped pants. And a couple of different options. We've got a frilly skirt. God, I can see Bambi. Bambi uh, sees all the pink stuff. She's like, oh, I could do such good things. I could do such good things. The beige trousers. Okay. And then we have hats. Oh my God, you can be a full-on farmer today. They're, they're trying to give me the sturdy vibes here. <laughs> I'm not always torture. Good to know. Nurse's cap, straw hat, or a fairy tale hood, I guess. Okay, here's here's what here's what Bambi would do, right? Bambi would do this. Bambi would do this. I wouldn't allow her to give me glasses, but probably like that. And then maybe she'd be like barefoot, or she'd be like, oh yeah, pink tights. And then please, this is what Bambi would do, or Chrissy too. And I think for everyone really. <laughs> <laughs> you know this is what bumby chrissy persephone that's like everyone who wants to torture me i think this would be their their choice um polina chose the nice route today so we're, we're doing that <laughs> straw head with brown rim okay i'll probably not do any different glasses um i could do like the food mess or something i'm not quite sure uh we do have some socks actually these are the socks that i think i'm wearing right now um, the green glasses were the ones I accidentally dropped you. True, true. Okay, are there any specific socks you'd like me to wear too? I could go with the red to fit the sweater a little bit better, maybe? And then shoes? I mean, I could just go for... Probably mine kind of fit. No socks, but the beige wellies. Okay, we can also do that. Okay, I can just keep my socks on then. You'd be safe on rain days. True, true. Okay, so like this, Polina. The pink cardigan would look great th with this fit. Mm -hmm, I see. I did go and downloaded a couple of the clips. I made a couple of additional ones. I will try and um, and edit those. Okay, how are we feeling about black? Or oh, neutral slip on loafers. Okay, and then I wouldn't be wearing any socks with those uh but yeah i downloaded a couple of clips i'll try to make like a short with the with the with the sausage outfit <laughs> and plus by the way i'm apparently now on tiktok <laughs> i started uploading a reel and then i was like someone someone said on my story like remember to cross post and i was like all oh, right posted it on tiktok so I'm on TikTok now. There's no command. There's literally not anything because I've I've really <laughs> socials where <laughs> I I just started. I don't really know what the heck's happening, but I better get used to it because I need to also use it for work, you know. Um, but I'm on TikTok now, and my username there is Sparksby. So it's relatively simple. <laughs> you can wear the white socks with the red band. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cute. Okay. Uh, ready to make your purchase and we'll wear this. Yeah. Uh, Sakura Sinny, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. And it actually didn't even do terribly. Um, it didn't do terribly. Like that TikTok is more successful than my Instagram reel. Uh, mind you, on Instagram, I posted the reel and I have about 8,000 followers. On TikTok, I posted it and I have, I had like 80 followers. And, um, 
Yeah, on TikTok, it's it's working better. This is a really freaking cute outfit. I think, honestly, Paulina, you did an awesome job. Can we get like some claps and stuff in the chat? Because I think this actually is very cute. This kind of looks like a very sophisticated German. If my hair wasn't as much of a mess, you know, this is really the very sophisticated German. With a bit of farmer vibes. <laughs> Yay! Whenever I look for your name, I get the song Sparks by Coldplay. Oh, I see. I see, I see. I would have liked the pink better. My eyes don't hurt. It looks like a tourist without the map and camera. It does, yes. Cross-posting is the best thing because I like watching stuff everywhere and how every many, uh, however many times I like. Yeah, true. True, true. Alman Andy on holiday. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, why does that tag me now? Oh, because TikTok uses the at Sparksby thing, I guess. Or maybe it always tagged me. I don't know. I think it maybe always tagged me. Um, thank you for adding it though. But you yeah, you did you did like everything in there. Did you replace something? <laughs> Yeah, a bit old person because of so much beige. Yeah. It looks like you're picking up your new ID before you go and take a stroll in the park. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, that's it. Okay. Well, with that, you know what? Let's go and start to get to work, I guess. So um, you look like you're going to watch tennis at Wimbledon. Oh my God, that's it. We're going to go in and out of this hat a little bit, by the way, um, here and there because, you know, um, but I guess I'll start like marking where the house is supposed to be so that we can kind of start moving those. Now, I don't really mind like the decorations around it. You know, it, it is supposed to be somewhat a minimalistic or like simple esque style. Okay, I guess we'll have to move it like out of the way completely and then kind of here on this line, probably like a tiny bit further back. So. Uh, we might be able to keep this one here, though, and we just move Hazel's out of the way and then there again. Right. Uh, we can also probably start thinking about, like, additional characters to to um, bring on to Kefian. Uh, the question for this one is, would you like me to do that on stream together with you all, or would you like me to do that off stream? Because it's, like, a lot of the starting screens and, and all that. We did that once for Isabel, and I'm not really sure... Like new characters, I mean, like new new people. Um, yeah, humans, exactly. Uh, we did that once for Isabel. I don't know if that was really the most like interesting, but yeah, I don't know. I have that too, the outfit, nice. Okay, let's move an island home and we'll talk to Hazel. It's not super early, so I hope we're not going to get her out of bed again. <laughs> oh, the backpack is matching the soles of your sneakers. Oh, yeah. Is it just a social command with an alias? I think maybe the at Sparks being the URL is tagging you here now. I can remove if that's annoying. No, it's totally okay. It's fine. Alina thought of everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind the loading screens. We can talk um all of the a lot um on that way. Wait, a lot? Oh, that way. Oh my god, there we go. A lot that way. I, I thought there was like something missing, but there's not. Poor Hazel can't get any peace. I know, she really can't. She really cannot. Oh, and you know what we can also start thinking about, honestly, is what what bridge to use. You know what? In this, why don't we start to think about that? Because I think uh, we can maybe continue our path and then kind of at least connect it to the bridge on the side. No, it's okay, Vanessa. It's okay. Yeah, there might be like a typo happening and then I try to get, like connect the the corrected typo thing to what you wrote before and then sometimes sometimes my my um brain completely glitches out because i think i'll remove this one here and then we'll definitely do another one and i think we were trying to um oh you know what i could also do is i could sorry adhd like not finishing sentences but i could have this path here Maybe then just go like up and wrap around this. So you kind of walk along the um, river like a little bit if we want to keep it this way. And then we could have a thinner path just leading to the bridge because we were struggling a bit with that entire issue of it not being symmetrical. But like this part could just be like a tiny bit thinner, you know? 
A flat wooden bridge would be nice, I think. Yes, I think so too. A river stroll, yeah. Maybe even stolen for more official areas. Yeah, I guess what will we consider like an official area? Let's remove this one though, and then the next day we can look at the bridges. And Sid, welcome on in, hello. Oh, I'm excited for, I feel like I'm kind of worried that this island is gonna be done too quickly. Um, I don't think that'll be the case just because of, you know, how long we take in between decorating and also the fact that I will barely, will barely be decorating like next week and stuff. So I think we're still going to be on this island for quite a while. But like if you're, I'm really trying to do the minimalistic thing, like I, I feel like I'm scared of it being done too quickly, but it's, it's okay. I'm so excited. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I I read it already. I I was I was I didn't really have time today to to um to answer just yet, Polina. But I will I I'll, I'll try to after stream. But I can't promise to be honest. I'll try though. At least like a short message, so you know what I'm thinking. Um, yes, we're gonna demolish. Oh, like for the museum era, depending on what you want to do. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, okay. For like, so I guess maybe. What we could do, I mean, we have like the town hall as part of this neighborhood, but we could, for example, do like a bit of a a bigger village or something where we like use the shops and stuff. And then towards that one, if like a bridge is needed, that one could be could be like stone. That's right. Flat wooden bridge goes so nice with the dirt path, but the stone one also adds height. Yeah. I think it also maybe depends on like other decorations. Like I feel like if we're looking at this part to add like a stone bridge in between would almost feel a bit out of place. But if there's more like gray stuff incorporated, um, then maybe it will work. Okay, but so now let's go jump to the next day. And also I think uh, we'll go to the earlier time now, even if we have to drag villagers out of the bed. Um, at least we can kind of see the area in more of what it's like supposed to be. Um, okay, save and end. God, this gonna I'm gonna have to pay attention because I don't want to just update. I did that too. My path next to bridges are also thinner, but it works okay, I think. Okay, good. Because I want to think. I I think I want to try that. Because I mean, I like like a path going up to a bridge, but then the asymmetrical. Yeah. I feel like that with my new island as well, but I already know that it'll take longer than I think in the end. Usually it's also those first couple of things, you know, you'll you'll build like um you'll build like your entrance and that's going really well and then maybe like a couple of things that you already thought of and it feels like it's going very quickly, but then at some point you get to like a part where you don't feel quite as inspired maybe or it's just you don't really have the items anymore, so you have to like take a break first or stuff like that and then and then it always takes forever forever oh yeah that's the time that's the time of day i wish i had this finishing an island too quickly problem i mean like i said i don't really think i have it <laughs> like i don't think that'll be my problem <laughs> but um we'll see i guess um i have thought about you know maybe keeping this if it. If it turns out to be an island, I really enjoy, although the the different characters on it might not be great. Like having a lot of different profiles and characters on the Switch might not be great. But I have thought about like keeping it as a forever island later on and maybe actually doing maybe actually doing a couple of different renditions um, of like adding Halloween decorations or things like that around it, you know? Okay, but you know what I'm saying about that house in the back? I think with this type of lighting, it probably would be like a tiny bit later. But with this type of lighting, it doesn't look as white as I thought it would. So that's kind of kind of nice. All right, do I still have enough money? I do. Although if we build a bridge, I should probably... Or I should probably... Sorry. Get more. I don't know. I feel like I can't get comfortable. Um. Okay. I loaded up the island, planted five trees, and called it a day. Not even the entrance is going well for me. Listen, that's also okay. There's there's times and days like that. I've definitely been there before. 
I feel like lately I haven't been able to decorate when I tried it for myself, by the way. Uh, like, for example. I, I accidentally, I want to move houses. I don't want to redo houses. Sorry. I, th that's what I was saying about the multitasking. Let's talk infrastructure. That's what I need to do. And then uh, we're going to talk about layout changes. There we go. And then island home and then Hazel. And then she's going to be in her PJs again, I think, because it's very, very early. I'm having an uncomfortable day, too. Like, even my socks annoy me. Oh, that I feel that. feel that so much. Yeah, sorry, Hazel. You can't get comfortable? Just don't be uncomfortable then. Yeah, thanks for the advice. <laughs> Now me getting my hopes up because I think I found Olive on my villager hunt, but it was Barrel. Oh no, not that. Not that. I actually have Olive on this island now. We picked her up uh, last stream. And I don't think I've actually talked to her just yet, though, um, because she moved in and then we basically like restarted. Uh, not restarted. Ended. I can't. Oh my God. Can I focus on what I'm saying at least? <laughs> We ended stream. Okay, there we go. Um, I would like to have, you yeah, know, I would like to talk about bridges and inclines now. So here we go. Let's build a bridge. Yes. And I think Persephone said the curved one earlier. I love that one too, but I think it doesn't fit this one. I think I want to kind of try with the wooden one. Yeah, I want to try with this wooden one. We used to have, so there was this one bridge um, in the village that I that I lived in, that I grew up in. There was this wooden bridge that kind of was like a fast track to like our, I guess like, like a town hall sort of thing. Um, and at some point it was always like a bit shady looking. But at some point during like a storm, it like broke down and then they just never put it back up. And then we always had to take like the long path, which was like 10 minutes more. Very annoying. Very annoying overall. <laughs> just a little anecdote, I guess. Wait, let's actually wait. Oh my God. Let's actually get like just 200,000. There we go. Yeah, poor Hazel, what she has to endure. I know, I know. There's a voice in my head telling me that all my ends look the same and not that no one will care. The downside of social media, to be honest, I tend to build for others, but not for myself. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, same. I can't look you... I mean, I can't look you in the eye, period, but I can't look you in the eye and tell you that it's different for me. It's definitely not different for me. Okay, so it would kind of be like this. Which I think is good. I think this is kind of what I wanted. Um, I could potentially also move it a tile further down, maybe. I could, I could probably move it like this. Or maybe not. Hmm. Uh, Savvy, welcome on in. Just got back from lunch. Remember what your stream was today. Welcome on in. They don't all look the same. You just found your style. Ooh. Very good. Actually placed 10 trees. The island is almost done. Let's go. Okay, maybe let's try this as a spot. Maybe that's fine. This is going to be a bit interesting with like item placement, but I did tell myself to calm down a little bit, so... Maybe that's also going to be fine. <sighs> All right. And then I'm going to collect this again. We're, we might try and put it back up after uh, the house has moved kind of like this. But I think for now, we just kind of probably need to need to remove it. I like when your villagers give you presents only to spoil what the present is like. Oh, like in what they say, they already tell you what it is. Yeah. They're just too excited about it. They need to tell you right away, you know? Oh, Olive. Oh my God. Are you seriously up at what? 612 doing a workout? I cannot relate to you. Gotta be honest. Cannot. Okay, I'm gonna look for my message in a bottle before we time travel again. She's so cute, but that's so unrelatable. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so unrelatable. Although sometimes if you are to believe social media, everyone has a 5 a.m. morning routine, except for yourself. Oh, yeah, but I definitely wanted to place the other house more like a little further back, like here or something. Not just to the left, probably, but like just a little bit, just a little bit behind that house still. So it's kind of like this shape. Instead of just like a curve. Yeah, I think that was it. My goal is to be like Olive. I was up at six to go for a run yesterday. Unrelatable. <laughs> I do have one. It is called sleep. Yep, same. It was fun. I do get like, I don't know. I think this is a this is a problem. I get I sometimes get like irrationally angry at people that have their life together because I'm just like unfair. Okay, oh god, I don't know how to place this one. Do we place it further to the bottom? Or like in the middle or further to the to the upper side of it? I think if we place it here, I'd want to change the river a little bit. And Tony, welcome on in. My 5 a.m. routine is usually waking up, realizing my hand is numb, and rolling over with pins and needles. Yeah. I was yeeted out of bed today because my freezer arrived at 7.30. Ah. Oh. My cat is all if she has a 5 a.m. workout. I don't I don't understand your cat. <laughs> Hello. Uh is it Nazi? Welcome on in. Hello. How are you doing well today? And Kellis, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Didn't want to enrage you? No, it's okay. It's just it's just me being a lazy piece of something. When I see someone running, my first thought was always kind of like, what are they running from? Why are you, ma'am, why are you running? What's happening? Yeah. I kind of like it towards the bottom, I think. Maybe. Probably can't really judge this perfectly right now because how would we? Like, there's nothing here. But I think I kind of like it towards the bottom here. And then maybe we can change the part at the top a little bit more. At 5 a.m. my cat was screaming and pawing my face to snuggle. Oh, gosh. The only times I get up at 5 is when I have to pee. Yep. I used to have a beagle and her 5 a.m. routine was seeing how loud she could snore. Ooh. I might have to start being a morning workout er because I'm starting nursing school in May and I'll be I'll be there all day. Oh, I see. Yeah. I mean, maybe what you know what? Maybe you might get into it. Who knows? Maybe that's maybe that'll, that'll be your thing. I feel like I should have a better morning routine, but I have so little of my life together at the minute. I'm trying to wash my hair in the sink because my shower is full of plants. Ooh, relatable. Have fun. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess let's go and time skip. And anything else will be determined the next day. Uh, Hazel's house is moved again. And then the next one that has to move is Camo Frog. But I think I like I like where this is going. Uh, start software. God. I have to remember to do this after the stream to update pretty much all my switches. Uh, eccentricity, welcome on in. A few months ago, you played the Paleo Pines demo. My autism grabbed onto it, and I haven't been able to play or watch anything else since. Uh, since it's so good to be back after so long. Welcome on in. Oh my god, I love though. I love that though. I love that you enjoy Paleo Pines. How do you do the grass outline? It's a code, Sid. Uh, it's on my website. If you do uh, exclamation Kefian or exclamation codes. Uh, you can navigate to the Kefian website and the code is on there. Um, so basically do uh, the dirt path. Uh, so it has like just like edges and then you round those edges and you put those codes over and then it looks like a diagonal path. It's awesome. It's awesome. I can't remember when there was a time that I slept after 630. My brain wakes up between five and six. I just kind of like this world is so made for that type of routine 
which like awesome for y'all, I guess. But like, it's just, I feel like you, you get so much done then. And I just, I'm like, I'm glad when I, when I'm awake at eight, really. I've been avoiding the diagonals because of this. Yeah. But this one actually really works. They have, um, they have different versions. They've got like numbers in the titles. And I think the number is like referring to the month. So I hope they have like a good match to the grass color. But yeah. Okay. A bridge should be built. Mm hmm. I do like this. I feel like it works with the with the dirt path, you know? And then Hazel's house is moved, which I, I still think works. Uh, might give it like a like a makeover because I think the door is quite dark. Like especially especially this like 6 a.m. vibe when they're still like close, like they're they're still asleep, so the lights are out. It's kind of dark. Don't know if I love it, but that's okay. All right, let's go check what Kix has. Maybe, maybe I'll have something cute that I want to get. Um, I'll get this pouch, but I won't be wearing it. And then we'll move. I think Camera Frog's house. the The people right by the way, the the villagers that are living on this island might not be staying. So like that might not be like Hazel or Camo Frog, but their houses at least, you know, can be like placeholders for whoever moves there in the end. Olive, I guess, will be staying. Um, I have not thought about like who to place where though, uh, like who to group together, um, what like villages to form. If we do like one with shops, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Simtastic April, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. My classes start on Tuesday and it'll be from 8 to 12. And I'll not be able to focus, but still go to not feel horrible for not going. Yeah. Also, you know what? Same thing again. Maybe who knows? You might get used to it at some point and like it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I feel that. I used to actually take my classes pretty early. So whenever I had the option to choose between <laughs> Frog and his PJs. Uh <laughs> cute um when i had the choice between like an earlier or later class i would choose the earlier one because then that would like force me to get out of bed and then i would still have time to do something after but when i took like the later classes then i never did really that much before and then after the day was like basically over so in that case i like did it on purpose but uh I don't really get that much done. I usually just do dishes, laundry, and some other small chores before work. Excuse me, you do dishes, laundry, and other small chores before work? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. I do nothing before work. I'm glad if I get my hair to look like somewhat presentable for... Yeah, I only wash myself. Like, I make myself a coffee... And I'm glad if I remember to brush my teeth before the first meeting. <laughs> I sleep before work. Yes. I tried that, but then I went back to sleep as soon as I was home again. Oh, actually so fair though. I get up for work at 4.30. So I still end up waking up super early, even if I'm not working. I went on a trip with friends last year and I woke up three to four hours before everyone else every day. Wow. And past logic. Also, thank you for the follow up. Come on in. Alrighty, so I guess like the question is just how far back do we want that house to be? Do I still have like a storefront and stuff with me? I do. And the gazebo too. So I guess the gazebo could work for showing me this. So like a tile in between? I guess like maybe we'll do like a few more. Maybe at least like two. And Meg, welcome on in. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Okay, that's two tiles. Two tiles might be enough already. There's no way I could be get back to a morning run, but one of my cats is now permanently on some medicine she needs at a specific times. So I literally have to get up at six and it's been nice. I can trick myself into doing all these things before I wake up properly and realize I'm working out or doing a couple chores. 
makes me so frustrated. I want to cry. Please, like, can you just all, like, give me your knowledge and your ability to do that? Because I feel like I just can't. But I also can't, uh, I also can't fall asleep. So I'll be awake up until, like, two a lot of times. And then... I'm just sad. I'm so sad. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, like this or actually maybe still closer together? What do we think? Let's just say I turn on my alarm for 9 and wake up at 11.30. Yeah. Laundry is a whole day's work. No, for real. For real. I got to do nothing except get up and dress myself. Yep. The other day I watched a sad episode of Shameless and my brain was too loud. So I listened to sad Taylor Swift songs doing dishes cleaning the kitchen at 3.30. Yeah. I don't do anything after work and I don't look presentable for work. I look like a hermit with haggard hair and work, wearing a work pajama. That's totally okay, Inksuna, though. That's totally fine. And Elk, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I'm truly just not awake before nine, even if I'm physically awake. Yes. I made it to um, a sport to wake up as late as possible and still get to work on time. The only things I do is wash and dress myself and make lunch and throw some snacks in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> Also, um, wait, there's an ad going on right now. I might wait for a second. I fall asleep mostly in the afternoon naps. Yeah. You can take care of my cat so I can lie in for sure. <laughs> oh, I always have like a schedule. Um, is it is it Nazi? Um, I always have a schedule with like a time and stuff. So you don't need to. There are specific times when I'll go live. You don't need to sit here and, and wait and refresh. Also, it's still an ad. I'm sorry. They say the older you get, the less you sleep. If that is true, then solution will come naturally. I mean, I guess I hope so. <laughs> I guess I hope so. <sighs> All right. Um. Okay. What do we, what do, what do we think? I think maybe we'll move it into towards the right. Actually. Which means I have to take this weed away also. No worries, Alexis. I did my therapy call this morning with no pants on. I've been trying to psych myself up to take out the trash for three hours. Does that make you feel any better about your own life? That's more, that's more what I do. The thick weed, I'm sorry. You could take care of my kid and bring her to kindergarten, so you have to get up at least uh, at 7.15 if you prepared her food the night before. I, I don't, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I, I kind of don't want to do that. All right, um, Donnie, welcome on in. Finally catching your stream after months. I'm glad you upload your streams on YouTube. So I was able to watch the start of Kefian. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. Hello. Um, and then wait, what else did I see? Oh yeah. Have you played Paleo or would you, if not, I have not played Paleo. Well, I kind of downloaded it, but then I looked at it and I just, I don't know. Um, probably won't because now I feel like it's been too long also. But yeah. Which Nintendo are you currently using? What do you mean? Which Nintendo am I using? I don't know if I understand that. And Moonlight Kitty, welcome on in. Hello. Then you're awake early. That's true. Yeah, my first alarm goes off at like 7.20. But I honestly, I hit snooze. and I can't even make myself stop. I hit snooze until like 8.10 a lot of times, which is like really bad. It's like so bad because my brain, like obviously I can't really sleep anymore either. Hello. But so, yeah. Um, Wallflower Anna, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Okay, no one, no one is helping me here. I think I kind of like the houses like this, though, maybe. So we'll probably put a uh, camera frog's house, like right there. I will need to do. If this is the front step, then we've got one, two, three. So this is going to be the back part, I think. This is going to be like the... Wait, no. Oh, is this half a tile? Hold on. Am I putting this on half a tile right now? Oh, I do. 
There's... Hmm. Oh, I guess that, that, that doesn't matter too much. I put a house there if no one lives in it. <laughs> ah, see what you did there. I see what you did there. That way you wouldn't have so much space for planted things in between. Yeah, true. But at the same time, if I want to have planted things in between, I need to have at least three tiles. Like two wouldn't help me either. I would need to have at least like three tiles there. And... um. Yeah, no, I don't think that's... That that would be super far away then. I don't think I want that. I tried playing Paleo, but something just doesn't hit the same for me. Not sure if that's how you felt. I think for me, one of the things that made me not want to play it, to be honest, is the camera. I'm not really the biggest fan of, like, um, a 360-degree camera. I guess if I place it further to the front... Because, like, so this is one, two, three, four, five. If I place it, like, here, then I guess I can place another tree towards the back, like, closer to it. But maybe I can do it, like, here. Um, Yeah, so 360-degree camera usually doesn't work super well for me because it can make me quite dizzy. And I just like to have, I like to say that it kind of takes a couple of decisions away from me. I don't have to worry, I don't have to worry about that when I play. So I, I personally love the fixed cameras that you have in, in like Stardew or Animal Crossing. So I think that was part of why I didn't love it. I always had kind of a Rentner Schlafrhythmus. I never really stay up until midnight. So maybe that's why I managed to do it. Usually I never wake up early to be productive. Like... Uh, I really like doing something cozy, like playing, playing Animal Crossing for half an hour before starting the day. Oh, that's nice. How will you be decorating the home if they're so close together like this? Um, just maybe like a trash can and stuff, you know? I like it like this. Okay. Nice, Anu. Awesome. I hope you can relax a little bit now. That was interesting. I couldn't get the shampoo out of the hair on the back of my head, so I went to the kitchen, got a bowl, and baptized myself. Nice. <laughs> I try to get out of bed right when I wake up and I move to a new setting, i.e. couch or desk. Yeah, I guess, like, that's probably something I do, too. Because um, usually I'll get up and I'll pretty much, like, I'll move to... I'll, I'll get started on my coffee, and then I, I'll go um, to the bathroom... Kind of do a couple of things there and then i basically go right away to my desk so i think that's probably something i do too the thing i kind of struggle with though is literally just getting myself out of bed like when my alarm rings to actually get up and get out you know wake up but that's because i don't really go to sleep early enough but i can't really fall asleep early so it's just a whole thing, you know? Early morning is my favorite time of the day, though. It's cool, it's quiet, it's darker, so my eyes don't feel so tired. And if I sleep in until, oh wait, if I sleep in until the sun is fully up, I get a headache from adjusting the bright light all of a sudden. Oh, actually, fair point. I would like to be more of a morning person. I, I'm i not like a, I'm not not a morning person. I feel like I'm just like an in-betweeny, like with everything. I'm not really this or that. I'm just somewhere like existing in between. I changed my island layouts three times. Now I need to change my villagers to the new one. Feel that. <laughs> Feel that. Put your phone and or alarm further from you. Tried that before. You know what ha ended up happening? I, I woke up, walked to get my phone, and then went back to bed. <laughs> With my phone in hand. And then just kept snoozing. If you bring another character in, they could be the mail delivery person. I don't know if they go by foot in these areas, but I don't know that idea just came to me. Um, there will be like a bunch of different characters. There will just be like people living in the in the villages, to be fair. Time for making some dinner and then watching your stream to wind down. Nice. Uh, Dead Girl Wanderland, thank you for the, uh, for the follow. Welcome on in. Okay, maybe I can do one more diagonal. 
and then kind of make it go upwards for like a little bit and then we'll go sideways again. Is it this one? Get that alarm clock that runs away from you. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I maybe I should. I should. Uh, am I welcome on in? Yes, I, I'll show you in a second. I will show you in a second. Hold on. Does this look right? How many tiles is my path? A th three? I think so. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot this. I forgot this last stream. That just reminded me with the map. Um, I forgot this last stream. I'm supposed to be over here, kind of. Not just weirdly above, like, layered on top of the map. <laughs> I changed this for the Stardew stream, and then I didn't change it back. Oh, hello, all, all, all you first-time chatters. Uh, Dead Girl Wonderland, welcome on in. Dory, hello. Um, and also, Elk, welcome to the chat. Love your neighborhood right outside the airport. It sets up a cozy vibe, vibe right away from the entrance. Thank you. Thank you. That's, like, actually kind of... That was kind of the goal here, so thank you. Um, I can recommend a daylight alarm clock. I have thought about it. I actually don't know. My roommate tried one out that she kind of borrowed from like her work colleague. How did that, how did that end up like working out by the way? I don't remember, but I've heard that a couple of times before too. Yeah. I've been inspired by this combo to take out the trash. Nice. And Quack, welcome on in. I'm very much a night person. I love the quiet and the dark of night when everyone has gone to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I usually like when that odd day happens where I'll be up earlier than others. I think that's what morning feels to me. Nighttime always feels a little bit like I should be sleeping. I don't want to be awake right now. Morning can feel like that for me too. Um, oh my God. So many first time chatters. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I appreciate y'all chatting. Uh, Miss Kitten with Mittens, welcome on in. And also Katie Victoria, welcome on in. I've been watching your bots for so long and happy to finally catch you live. I'm excited about this island theme. Thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. Uh, so the theme is basically, I guess in general, it would be like a countryside or like small town or small village kind of vibe. Uh, more specifically, I am trying to kind of recreate something that is like inspired by German countryside and like a German super tiny like villagers that I like grew up in. Um, it probably won't be super accurate in a lot of the parts. Like for example, oh, Andrew, first time, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi, I'm new here. Ooh, woo. I already have a 25 month <laughs> subscriber badge, but oh well. <laughs> Andrew, welcome on in. Um, yeah, it won't be super accurate in all the senses because, like, we do our like our roads are not made of dirt or something. Um, like a lot of times, it'll be like concrete and stone and whatnot. But um, yeah, just kind of like the the vibes, I guess. The the vibes we're trying to do. Um, I had to stop washing my hair in the sink. I started that with my very short hair at some point and that got, got too long. My hair touching the sink gave me aches for some reason. I, I get that though. I get that. It was like very nice lighting to wake up to. Just sometimes I just, I would just would not wake up and I slept till the alarm anyway. Yeah, because I feel like that probably also would be me. Because I don't like close the blinds or anything. So like if the sun is shining, it, it's not like dark in my room either. Yeah. I cleaned up my camper. All I have to left to do is fold the laundry. You got this tiger cub. I couldn't live without my sunrise sunset alarm now. Best money I've ever spent. My uh, aunt got some garbage dupe on Amazon though and hated it before trying mine. Oh, I think the quality of these does matter. Okay. Oh my God. Look at these cute clouds. I kind of love it with the clouds. Okay. I think this is kind of something like somewhere along the lines of what I really like. I do believe that I would want to have like a tree somewhere here towards the front. You know, and then we'll kind of see what we do like in between their houses, etc. But I think this is it. I need my room to be completely dark to sleep. Yeah, I think I did for a while too. And then at some point I just kind of stopped and then it was like, okay-ish. I don't know. It's going to be so cute. Thank you, Cozy Darling. And thank you, Andrew. I love your background uh, setup with the fairy lights. Thank you, Moonlight. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
And very in between. I sometimes love being active at night, but I'm most productive at like 11 a.m. Yeah, I think I'm I'm definitely more productive during the earlier hours. So I think if I had a better sleep schedule and I'd be able to wake up earlier without being so de dead, I think that would benefit me like a lot because I do I do tend to get more done or like be able to concentrate more towards like the morning time, but I don't know, I don't know. You know, like this could be done. I feel like I want to use the uh, regular vertical board fence though, not the dark one, but I don't think I have it. <laughs> and I just wanted to try the other garbage bin, hold on. Ah, uh, <laughs> Windapoo, thank you for the follow, welcome on in. Um, oh my god, y'all, I can these, these in advance subs. Um, Katie Victoria, thank you so much for six months in advance for that brand new tier one sub. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support and also the trust. And I hope you like the emotes. I hope you like the little badge in front of your knee with the little um, mum, mum seeds now. And also, um, yeah, the ad free viewing, ad free viewing as well. Thank you, Katie. I'm a varsity sleeper. I can sleep anywhere, anytime. That is so good. That is so good. I'm not a night or morning person. I'm a 1 p.m. person. Yeah. Being productive at 11 a.m. That's me. That's what time it is for me right now. Nice, Tiger. Enjoy the productivity. <laughs> uh, also, Window who welcome on in. I found you by chance. Stayed for the cozy vibes. Awesome. Welcome on in. And also, Mad, welcome on in. Uh, my name is Maze. Okay, perfect. I'll make a note for that, actually. Uh, welcome on in. I hope we're doing well today. Hello. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, and thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. That's a weird mental thing because if I sleep too long or chill too much, I feel lazy. Yes. And I think, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I am. Um, because... <laughs> I'm I'm not on the homepage or anything because I'm never like part of of Twitch's shelves for stuff. Maybe just people are feeling like chatty today. So also explanation because I f I think people that aren't mods don't see this, but we we're having like a lot of first time chatters right now, like a lot a lot. Um. So so you know appreciated. Thank you and welcome on in everyone. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, I, I have that too, where like, I feel lazy if I sleep too much, which is completely stupid. That's like very much, um, mental and uh, not mental. Like that's a society thing. The society taught us to feel like that. Um, so, you know, it happens. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Wait, I think I had my, my, um, storage head here on the other side. Also, I think Chrissy offered to do a delivery. The thing is, the thing is I have enough fencing. I just, you know what I need to do is I need to learn how to customize fencing. Um, and then now that I'm happy with the layout, just put one stick in my storage. That's great. I'll go to my, <laughs> focus please. I'll go to resin service and I'll check if they have some fencing because maybe we can kind of work on that one. I cheated and can see it via a better Twitch TV. Oh, oh, <laughs> nice. Um, also, Wasted Egg Roll, welcome on in. Welcome to the chat. Mm, thank you, Katie. I appreciate it. I was craving Animal Crossing. Nice. Are you also playing right now, Windapoo? Um... Uh, yeah, Maze, be careful with the self-promo, please. Um, well, you know, if you're, if you're overwhelmed, like, it doesn't have to be for everyone. Maybe you could also think about, like, making videos instead, so you don't have, like, the live stuff happening. But, um, yeah. I don't know. It can be overwhelming for sure. Okay, I have... Rural fence and country fence, which I think I both, I know both of them and neither can be customized, which means I can't like, craft them so that I can learn about the customization. Okay. I don't have the coral fence. I'm going to learn the coral fence, but still <laughs> my point stands, you know, dang it. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Okay. Coral fence. There we go. 
Uh, I'm working on telling myself that I need to sleep and uh, me time, especially on my days off. Yes. And also, you know, I'm trying to get it into my head that we're not just resting so that we can be more productive again. Like we can just rest for rest sake, like f just for the sake of resting, you know? I want to start flattening now that I have an idea. Ooh, I get that. I get that. That stick might come in handy. You never know. It probably will. It probably will. Now that that, that I put it away, <laughs> we'll probably need like sticks in a second. Uh, and steadily welcome on in. My dog is demanding belly rubs. Oh, you should do it, Eden. I stopped Animal Crossing once. It died down and my Switch is just sitting there because I'm too lazy to terraform. I'm actually doing an island with no uh, cliffs. At least that's the plan right now. We'll see how it goes. But I'm trying to I'm trying to do one completely without any cliffs. So maybe that would be something for you as well. I'm struggling with my two islands, but I've been watching your YouTube videos and hopefully to hopefully get some inspiration. I think I want to make a forest type island. Do that. I love forest forest islands. Generally, trees are like great for decorating. One of my favorite things, even though it always sounds weird, they're one of my favorite things. Okay, we're gonna put everything into my storage that we can take stuff out again and actually i'm going to keep the coffee because i did just see um i did just see some rocks but so we're just going to take like new stuff out again the drop stuff can go over here and this is my mailbox which actually wait i think i have this by my house too um so I'll, i think i'll put the mailbox by my house for now as well until we use it somewhere else yeah yeah, and then we can we can choose some new things like seeing it. Plus, Persephone is right. I should be taking a break. <laughs> Even though, again, you know, this is the moment where I feel like I can't take a break yet because I haven't done anything today. Yeah. Uh, Como Rigby, welcome on in. And Annie also, welcome on in. What a lovely topic to come into. I just wrapped up work for the week. My birthday is Friday, so I'm taking a long weekend. Oh, nice. I hope you enjoy. Friday is actually a national holiday in Germany, which kind of pisses me off a little bit. Not gonna lie, because I need to go shopping. I was stressing so much. And then... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, block that sky, exactly. I'm so bad at trying to figure out where to put cliffs and how to shape them. You know, cliffs, very pretty. Very pretty, but very annoying. I don't like to deal with them a lot of times. You've provided us with over two hours of companionship and content. That's plenty. Oh, thank you. Wait, what is the same as earlier, Chrissy? Also, Alizé, welcome on in. I always imagine Persephone casually sipping her tea while she presses the wellness check button. She's like... And she's like, I have to work. Oh, is it called Good Friday? Interesting, but it's okay because I have Saturday and Sunday off. Okay, at least something. You completely rearranged the entrance, the starting point of the whole island. That is something. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, that's exactly my face. Can you see me? I can see. All of you. Oh, God. I'm about to open Fae Farm for the first time since the update. I'm excited for longer days. Oh, that's right. Have fun. Um, Okay, why don't we why don't we use this to take a break? And then after we choose items and we kind of go from there. Okay. I don't know how to do this minimal decorating thing, by the way. I don't I don't know how to how that works. Like, I already am, like, stressing about what to do in that bottom left part. But I, I guess I probably don't even need to do that much. But I'm already stressing about it, you know? Uh, and minimal decorating probably also means I don't need to overdo it with, like, items. But I'm already stressing. <laughs> All right. Let's go take a break. Um... Oh. oh, that did not feel like a good crunch. Oh, I don't think you heard that, but that did not feel or sound good. <laughs> I can't. A minimal decorating. I know, no, Diana is one of the people who inspired it, so. 
Yeah. Are are you at, are you calling Diana to help me? Because I will need that. <laughs> we're, le we're leaving tiles behind. I know. I know. It's probably a special day here, but like everything is open except the bank, basically. What? Well, that's interesting. We're so fake. Fair. Fair. I feel like it's weird that everything's closed here. So, yeah. Anywho, we're going to take a break. Uh, it'll be about like five to ten minutes. That's how long I usually take a break. So this is your moment to get up, stretch, get yourself something to snack or drink. Uh, and we'll be back after to, yeah, add a little bit of something to this to this area. And we'll see how the natural, minimalistic decorating uh, goes. But yeah, enjoy your break. I'll also run an ad and I will be playing some music. So yeah, you pretty much won't be missing anything. I'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you for the cozy vibes. Can't believe how long it's been. Sending you all the love and best wishes.
welcome. Oh, of course. I was like, is it going to freeze? I I kind of honestly kind of expected it to. Uh, we've had worse freezes, though. <laughs> we've had worse freezes. Not going to lie. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to dive under the desk. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Ah, I love it. Tech stuff and me is a match made in heaven. All right. Let's see if that already fixed it. Yay! All right. Hello, everyone. Let's see if uh, if I stay moving now, that'd be great. <laughs> All righty. Also, Annie, thank you so much for your resub for 28 months already. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate the support. And thank you for those follows um, off uh, or not off stream uh, during the break as well. Giving SpongeBob face. You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? Andrew, uh, you know, I don't know the SpongeBob references. <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm glad I'm glad I can remind you of one of your favorite shows. That's good. Ah, thank you, Anu. I did try. Uh, I tried to make one that is inspired by like German town, like village, village signs. So yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's think about, cause okay, I haven't like prepped any uh, trees or any shrubs. So obviously we can use those for decorating. Um, I don't want to go like overboard in terms of, you know, no tie left behind and all that stuff. Uh, I actually want to take some stuff out. And um, same thing about like, same thing, honestly, about like areas. I don't know if we we're going to do like too many like themed areas, really. But let me let me see my because I have a notion page with my notes on this island. I wrote down small towns with different houses, big fields with same stuff uh, with same type stuff like farms, more characters for different houses, completely flat island, 6 a.m. vibe, maybe slight rain, probably fall, cluster of trees, clusters of flowers. And then here's like some of the items and stuff, uh, items and areas. So trash bins, recycling area with bottles and clothing. And I wrote down garden gnomes, but I feel like these are more of a cliche than they are like a reality. Uh, maybe bakeries, uh, cake, newspaper, a little store, a uh, little baking house type of thing. Um, oh, Ali, it's so like a line of trees. Um, and like sheep, cows, horses, construction site, bus stops, bikes, playground, a barn, small ponds and lakes. And I want to try to keep the init initial river layout yard sales and for free sections and then also like some fields where you can harvest like your own stuff so we kind of have these like strawberry fields somewhat um you know everything about spongebob it's in your blood ah <laughs> oh, i can quote way too much from it yeah spork reminds me of you like sporks be oh my god <laughs> Uh, yeah, Annie, I've started using Notion for my job now, and that, having to get used to it because of the job, also made me kind of start using it for my own, like, stuff, although I'm still kind of getting used to that one a little bit, I think. I love that your island projects are always so well-planned and organized. I try, at least. I think not all of them are completely organized like that, but I try. Playground is going to be so cute. All the sounds so cute. Thank you, Moth. Um, yeah, I guess like we could try thinking about what we're going to do towards the start of this. So honestly, I like, um, I like the little garbage bin setup, the minimalistic guard garbage bin setup. Um, I'd be happy to do a little pond, uh, to the right of the entrance. And I, I kind of feel like the for free thing is speaking to me a little bit. Hmm. Maybe. And then I still thought about like a recycling area next to the town hall situation, but not entirely certain that there's room for it. Uh, we can also try to incorporate like a car already. And then towards the left of the houses, maybe that could be our first like potato farm. Maybe. Hmm. 
I'm watching the Eras Tour recording on Disney Plus. I think of you every time I put it on. <laughs> Back right on time. Nice, Kata. Thank you, Annie. I decorated an entrance on porridge and I don't hate it. Okay, what did you do, Chrissy? If you want to share, that is. Also, by the way, I haven't finished going to Treasure Islands just yet. Like, there's still um, a couple of things I think I need to pick up. Like, I was going through these alphabetically organized islands and I think I didn't get through the entire bit. Um, but I got through like a, like a lot of it and, uh, yeah, I'll see when I can get back because apparently there's this, like, uh, this entire, like, update thing makes it a bit more complicated right now, but yeah, we'll see. And uh, Space Mar, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Trees only? That's fair. That's fair and valid. Um, also, I picked up just a couple of Brustoids. I was thinking of those towards the town hall as well. Um, and I was also thinking about a little bit of fence towards the front. And I don't know, do I already have potatoes? Ah, oh, dang it, I have no crops. I have literally no crops. Why is the why is the the tint so like red purple? Not purple, red or red and pink. Pretty spaces can seem so small all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, put my entrance in ACNH chat. There we go. Ooh, nice. Ooh, I like that. I like the garlands and how like the resin services seems like perfectly put in into into position in between. And are you only using um the white tulips? I love that. I love it. Trees only, she says. I know. <laughs> Dis disrespectful, Chrissy. To any any of those of us who are actually only decorating with trees when we say that, that is disrespectful. <laughs> okay, Chrissy, I see you sliding in like that. Um, I would not be opposed to a tiny little crop delivery, maybe. And I also would not be opposed to um, maybe the like vertical... Yeah, vertical board fence and wooden fence, like, DIY. Mach auf das Käfchen. <laughs> okay, I love that. <laughs> um, yeah, the recipes for those would be great because then I can craft those quickly and I can just get the customization thing. <laughs> Welcome back, Persephone. I tried making one of these instant ramen things where you have all the veggies and dry noodles and spices and pour over the hot water. It's pretty good. That sounds amazing. I, uh, vertical board and wooden fence would be great, I think. Do I have those? No, I think I didn't have those. Vertical board and wooden. Wooden simple. Simple wooden. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like a noodle soup would be, would be fantastic today we had bread which was awesome uh they're doing like a bunch of carrot uh carrot stuff this week because i think of easter and so they have this like carrot sunflower bread which was awesome noodle soup would be perfection wait that's like mashing together two friends memes gum would be perfection and then like oh dang it and then like mm, noodle soup <laughs> i mean soup i mean noodle soup <laughs> Oh, great. Yeah. And then also they had this like almost like a like a carrot cake thing. It was like very dense, very moist. Great. Also, Dark Angel Lexi, thank you for that follow. I don't think I said thank you, but but I appreciate you. Welcome on in. I put a free sign in the Discord. Uh yeah, I think there's like a there's like a default one too. I don't know if that is that such a German thing. Maybe we should try. Maybe we should, maybe we should go for like a more German thing, which is I don't know what. Yeah, there's well, not for like this sign, but you know the one that that you can put on stuff. For the crops, a stack of each. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Carrot cake is top uh, tier cake. Yeah, I've been craving like lemon cake. I was thinking of baking it yesterday, but I was just too lazy, to be honest. 
For me, I think I would like lemon cake would be the top. Or the, I don't know, like chocolate cake is pretty dope, you know? Oh, there's just a there's just a lot. You see a lot of those boxes of stuff with like a to give away kind of sign. True. Yeah, most of, there's like a lot of books in there usually, right? I think I'll bake lemon bars tomorrow. I got everything home for them. Yeah, I have everything home for like lemon. I guess like lemon bars, lemon cake, lemon muffins. I could, it doesn't matter because we bought like buttermilk for it and everything and like lemons and everything. I'm just too lazy. And then I'll go visit my parents on like early on Sunday and a oh, cute outfit too. Um, And so I feel like I wouldn't even be able to, well, I guess it's only Wednesday, but I don't know. I'm so stressed this week. <laughs> I can't lie to you. I'm so stressed this week. Oh, and did I tell you that they're apparently doing like some electrical construction stuff tomorrow and like anywhere in between 830 to 1230, there might be a comp complete like power outage. That was fun. Oh, I forgot. I can't pick this up. Great. Oh, look at us. <laughs> oh, lem lemon desserts. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> I actually didn't know if you, you're you okay with me picking these up. Uh, yes. Right. Bake the lemon cake to bring to your parents. <laughs> you. Nah, I think... So, I think my sister has, like, a lot of stuff prepared, plus, like... I can't hug? Oh, <laughs> There was just, okay, not really a thing I want to talk too much about stream, but like there was recently a health concern to like anything sweet with my family. Not so great, probably. Damn. No power at all. Seems like they're saying take a break. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm, you know, I, I, I've i got spell garden work tomorrow and um, the team was just at like GDC, so the game developer conference in the United States. And so their flight got delayed and everything. And tomorrow will be the first day that we're back in office and like uh, that we're all back in office in like two weeks. And then I'll be on vacation like next week. So tomorrow is like two meetings and then there's like a power outage. And like I've been working there like three weeks now and I've had so many like tech issues now. They must think I'm like a complete loser and beginner. I don't know. I just I kind of hate it. <laughs> Lemon cake with like frosting on top is heavenly. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, but so if there's no power at all, like I, I mean, obviously I can't do anything because like no power, like no Wi-Fi, I can still do something. No power is like end boss though. I literally can't do anything. Okay, so I feel like the minimalistic decorating would be to, like, actually do, like, a long row of fencing. I don't know how to... I don't know how to do that, though. They won't think that? That you don't... You don't con uh, control national power supply? Maybe... What if I do, though? Uh, what if I do... Uh, you know? It's a bloomchen. All right. And then I was thinking, so we got to have like a path. Um, anyway. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I don't control it. I don't control it. These things are all part of remote working. It's not like having an office where all the setups are the same and everything works. Not even... Uh, and even then, it never always works. It's 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 true about my brain, you know. Okay, the the setup for like the free stuff would be towards like the the street, right? So I was thinking about like the cardboard table, you know. So they just got up like a bunch of boxes, and then we could get some books and stuff. I did want to put like a tree. I think like somewhere here. Um. Or maybe a tile further to the l right. 
But that could be a small tree. I think everything here is like fully grown. Yes. Uh, and then maybe we could have like a tree behind this. And then don't have too many items, Moline. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, get the Blümchen. I was thinking of doing like clusters of flowers. So like that there's not just going to be like one of each and then that's it. But so like, so it seems like a little bit more realistic. There are like a few of the same growing in one area. Uh, and I do think we're going to do the stunting behind the trees because it's a little bit less obvious. I'm not loving how visible that little sapling there is. I knew this could be another Cosmo. Oh, I gotta leave tiles behind. Uh, how do people do this? I've got this strong urge to like put something everywhere. I don't know how people do it. I don't get it. It's just, I'm trying, I need to understand that it's still, it still is complete, even if not everything is covered. Um, I guess like using see-through tiles will probably help, but I need to get to the point where I'm like, okay, now it's done. I, I can use see-through tiles, right? Okay. I can't help you. I'm the same. <laughs> no worries, Polina. And you don't have to go to extreme minimalism immediately. You could do a more minimalistic approach and just work yourself up. Yeah. And then later on, like when we're close to having this island done, we'll go back to all the areas and just remove a whole bunch of stuff because we actually have perfected the minimalistic path. And we're just like, we don't need all this crap. <laughs> um, Maybe this, maybe this here would go a slightly different you know, so that there's like a little bit more room here. Maybe this river needs to be like shifted backwards, you know? That is a very minimalistic beach, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we're going to try to have this a tree. I think maybe like a third stage more like. And plus it could be more towards the right hand side. Actually, excuse me. More like there. And then maybe this moves over. Ah. I think that could work with the going back and removing stuff. Okay. The community areas are probably maintained by the council. I don't know what you might call it, so it makes sense they would be in clusters. Yeah. You know, so like this. And then maybe... <sighs> Already starting. It's already starting. Okay, this will be a see-through tile. Come on. Come on. We can do it. Um, my see-through tiles, by the way, have a little dot here so that I can kind of tell. Actually, would it be better to kind of outline the edges, though? Uh, Nope. Nope. I want to change the design. My see-through, because I think Chrissy also said this. She was like, do something on your see-through tile because that way you can tell a little bit better where you've already put something. Someone dropped a raisin. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. I don't know if I love it. Maybe we just do... Do borders like that. Lena, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Maybe like this? And then we can make it all transparent when the time comes. See-through towels are godsend for keeping flowers from spreading. Absolutely. Yeah, now I can kind of see the tile itself better. Gonna look is gonna look interesting, but we can very easily just make it see through. I do the tiles in a bright color like red or purple so they stand out more. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess I thought like maybe black is fine because the, the contrast towards the green is like big enough. Mm. I hadn't heard about your job. Yeah, so I've been um I took on a part-time job. Uh, for about 22 hours per week. Uh, although it kind of feels like I'm doing a full-time job sometimes. Not in terms of like the hours. 
but just like the adjustment period is just making everything seem much more exhausting than it is, I think. Um, it's like f four flies flying away from the raisin. <laughs> um, but yeah, I started a 22 hour per week job as a social media, media and community manager at uh, Spellgarden Games, who did sp uh, Sticky Business, for example. Tank. Now is not the time for you to walk around here. Okay, definitely like that more with the tree there. Uh, we did choose to not have the pictures in front of their houses, right? So I got to kind of find a couple of other things. And then maybe the free stuff is kind of more like here. So it's not as in front of their house. And then we just kind of do... I don't know. I feel like I kind of prefer the tiles over the dirt pathing. But then I also think that I just... I'll end up having the tiles just like everywhere. So I don't know what is best. You know? Um, But we might just also do like a couple of tiles here. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, and it's been really, it's been really fun so far. I've only been there for like three weeks and then last week, uh, or th four weeks, four weeks, maybe, I don't know. Last week, uh, they were all at GDC and then their flight got delayed. So like they were kind of there this week too. So it's all kind of been out of the norm. Um, but it's been really fun so far. They're all like super, super nice. And it seems to be like exactly Met, like time management wise, it seems to be exactly what I was looking for, but I'm still kind of struggling with it some somewhat just because it's I'm really not like used to it. Um, but yeah. Thank you, Annie. Thank you. And Soft Scorpio, thank you for the um, for the follow. I appreciate that. Okay. I know that you think you're struggling, but I love the entrance so far. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mm, kind of helps a little bit, I think. Don't know how. Don't know how to do this though. Oh, maybe tiles in front of the house, and a dirt path that leads there. Oh, that's good. Persephone's like yes. <laughs> Do it now. I meant. <laughs> For same, he's like, that's what that meant. It's like, do this or else. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I don't have. I don't have like very thin dirt pathing, which maybe I should get right. Yeah, Persephone, please calm down. It's not that serious. <laughs> you know. Oh, huh, let me think. Why are the smallest filler space is always the hardest? I know. They really are, though. Oh, my God. What am I doing? <sighs> you know, this is good. This is... I'm having so much... It's working. It's total working out. <laughs> Great. Having so much fun. I kind of am, though. I miss decorating, you know? So... So I'm, I'm glad to be doing this. Okay, this is going to be that. And this is going to be... Nope. This is going to be that. Huh. I don't really, yeah, I don't really love it. Gotta say, don't really love it. Can you let the in-game code seamlessly transition into the dirt path? Uh, not really, because when it uses like the in-game dirt then there's always this like little gap you know i mean we could we could kind of pretend it's like that we could put like a leaf pile over it that we could do and then maybe we could end the path like here but not really really 
I love the earth tone house. Thank you. This is so I well, it's Hazel's house. It's not the one that she usually comes with. But we customize it. Yeah. And yeah, welcome back, B. No worries. Are you happy with your progress so far? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I'm I'm trying. It's not the worst. Um, but like the note, the tiles left behind is interesting. I want to get a ninth villager for my island so I can make three houses groups of three house groups of three. Hello. I can't decide who the last villager should be. So far, I've oh got Raymond, B, Kurt, Elmer, Lolly, Gonzo, Colton, and Ike. Personally, it doesn't matter, but their house should be brown and green. Uh, Grizzly's house is brown and green, but I think also red. Wait, who was... Wasn't this house here over on the right-hand side? Um... Oh, wait, who was here before? Oh, Roswell. Roswell had a very cute house. Uh, thank you, Tank. You sneezed, and you also rammed your horn into my face. I appreciate it. Mm, thanks. Yeah, but Roswell is upsetting. His house was... His house was it, though. Also, Jenny and Bethany, thank you for those follows. Welcome on in. Can you let that? Oh, wait, I read that. Yes. Um, shifted over one. Oh, I think I destroyed it too much for, for that to just work. This is how COVID-19 got to Kefian. I know, right? <laughs> I trust that you're strong enough to leave a tile behind. I'm trying. <laughs> I think it's looking good so far. Thank you, B. Thank you. I like that. What if you just use the tiles instead, though? So no dirt. Okay, I kind of like this design a little bit more. Maybe? Maybe maybe tiles? I tried the dirt because I like the idea, but I think maybe this entire... Maybe this area is too small for the dirt path to lead to the tiles then. So let's try to substitute this with tiles instead. A Weber, maybe? Weber is... Weber, I don't know what his house looks like, but Weber is definitely a cute villager. That's the thing. I don't really remember their houses, so I feel like I can't even help that much because I usually never know what, they're in, what their actual houses look like. I just always redo them. Speaking of, I still need to play through the DLC on Oleander. I did hear on this one... Um, I think I just need to go back in because I don't have the app yet to do like the interior decorating. I might, I might need to do that one. But yeah. Kevin and Sheldon have brand houses with green. Oh, Sheldon. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Sheldon has a very, very pretty house. I remember that from Meliora. And I think... Kevin? Yeah. I love the dirt, but for realism, you maybe don't want a mud path to your house if it rains. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair. Okay, maybe like that... I don't know. I don't know. What kind of islands are you working on again, Chrissy, that you need villagers for? What optics are you looking for in their house? Uh, brown, basically. Green and brown houses. Um... Maybe with a single dirt nearby. Yeah. <laughs> I think I preferred the previous layout. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's the small things that I get really stuck on sometimes, so... Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, this is the same one that I use on my bot uh, botanical, not my botanical, the, the coastal island. Yes, this is the same as on Callan. It's just darker, but I love this. It's like basically the same shade that the brown, like the dirt path is. Um, but like tiles, and I quite like these. I quite like these. Huck? Ooh, Huck is cute. Oh, wait, I wanted to do the the dirt path here, I think. 
Colton's house already stands out a lot, so the others should maybe fit. <laughs> I feel dead on my feet. I'm going to head to bed. No worries, Lena. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out. And thank you again for the biddies. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, I did. Did I bring a car? Because I did want to try maybe use a car here and there. Uh, because I mean, cars are a thing in Germany. To be fair, uh, some of them could even have like a little garage area. Maybe. I think we've kind of ruined the option here. Hmm. You have cars? I know Germans having cars. Unheard of. Oh, anchovy is also good. Yes. Anchovy is also good. It's weird, though, because for this one, the street just seems so small, you know? Hmm. Oh, Gemma, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Okay, let's make this like a shrub, maybe? And maybe, like, this could be a tree. <sighs> and Fishy also welcome on in. Parked on the roadside? Yeah, maybe. I kind of have, like, maybe the to give away freely type of thing here. And I'm not sure about, like, this entire part. But, like, I mean, this will be, like, a house, so this will probably be weird. We could kind of have it here, so they kind of park it, like, actually next to their house. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I think the back here was planned when there was still, like, a recycling area to be put, like, close. Which... Now that this entire thing has moved, we could still bring that on. This is maybe supposed to be a bus stop. That was the entire like idea there. This could still be the recycling area now. I have put away my fencing. But why don't we why don't we do that? Uh so I'm gonna go get vertical board fence. Maybe for this we can use the dark and then I'll will I will craft regular a vertical board fence for for um behind like hazel's house and also just to make sure that i can customize fences i hope it's regular wood probably not right now that i not mm -hmm. well it kind of is but i also need soft wood <laughs> okay let's get something out we're gonna get some soft wood for the fence customizations Ooh. and i still wanted to get something else gosh uh, and then I also wanted to get that wooden sign. Uh, is Germany more mountains or more flat? Uh, everything, really. Germany is very, very versatile. It depends on where you are. If you're in the very north, it's pretty much completely flat. Uh, if you're in the south, there's like, like tons of mountains. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter that we don't have a bus in the game and Kefina would only come once a day anyway. Exactly. No one will know. <laughs> no one will know. I'm on the struggle bus and waiting for surgery. I've been lurking and watching from a distance. Kefina is incredibly beautiful. Watching your progress been keeping me going. Gemma, good luck. I'm sorry to hear that you're going through it right now. Um, And, and fingers are crossed for your surgery. I hope everything's going to go well. Um, And thank you for the sweet words. Wait, which one did I craft? I'm so absent today. I'm so sorry. Vertical board and simple wooden. I did already craft both, I guess. Uh, let's customize the... I can't. I can't do this anymore. My head is so not in it today. Oh, good lord. I'm annoyed at myself. Where my grandma lived, which is a very, very small town in a very rural area, you had to call a phone number and let them know which bus you wanted to take so it would actually come. It was called Roof Taxi. Yeah. We actually, so in my, in the town that I grew up in, we had a bus coming every hour at least. But uh, some of my classmates 
had to actually uh, at the beginning of the year they had to like hand in their schedule uh, and then there would like be specific buses like booked for those people at the time basically which was kind of wild to me i never took the bus there because i'm not calling people yeah no me neither <laughs> me neither <laughs> Okay, now we can customize fences at least. That's good, because that's usually something I really struggle with and I get really annoyed by. So at least we can customize fences now, which is very nice. Uh, and I also have made some vertical board fence in the regular uh, lighter brown customization. So I guess we can try and maybe see uh, an exchange of this. See if we prefer that. Uh, which would be this one here, I think. There we go. Very different. Don't know actually. Ooh, very different. It's already 715 now too, so don't know if we can trust it. Hmm. Do we maybe prefer the dark brown? <laughs> we just went through so much trouble. But we have to be happy with the final result, you know? Okay, and then this could be the recycling, although I kind of almost want to have the fence be in the same line as the, like, the notice board. So maybe be, be more like here, which also means I have to remove the weed. There is a green. I don't know why. I think I tried it and didn't love it, but we can we can see. Okay, and then this would kind of be like maybe the recycle area plus... There'd be like a tree kind of here, I guess, to somewhat end this. And then maybe here too. Another weed lost. <laughs> and Marley, welcome back. The weed must be sacrificed. I'm sure I'll be back to, my, uh, to myself in no time at all. For now, though, I'm happy to be curled up watching and listening to you guys. Oh, Gemma, it's good to have you here for sure. Okay, green fence coming right up. Itchy nose also here. Um, mm, 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 mm. Trees. Trees would be grand. Trees, plays, cedars, and regular hardwood saplings. I'm not liking the little Cosmo moment here, though. Because Cosmos just remind me of like. What is Gänseblümchen? I don't know. And Shona, welcome back. Okay, here is vertical board fence. In green. As per request. Daisies! <sighs> I can't. What is up with my brain today? Daisies. It reminds me of daisies, which we have like everywhere, so... Purple mom surrounded by weeds would be clover. Oh, cute. Although purple, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to feel about the green, though. I mean, generally, I feel like I kind of like it, but I don't know if I like it with the entire... I don't know German, but I knew the flower that you wanted. Perfect. So it actually looks like it here. That's good. <laughs> I love clover. They exist in white, too. Oh, they do. Wait, but I think in fall we don't actually have clovers, right? No. Ah, dang it. In fall, we only have the clumps, the leaves, and the grass. <laughs> dang it. I noticed that there was an annoying stingy feeling on my foot since this morning. I investigated just now, 13 hours later, and noticed that I somehow scratched my foot real bad when unpacking the freezer. Oh, no. I've been there before, though, that for, like, such a long time you don't notice. And at some point it just, like, starts hurting so bad. <laughs> it's so weird. And wait, wait, wait. Um, Mango Miriam, thank you for the follow. -up. Welcome on in. Our yellow mums could be a... Wait, what? A Sundelian? Many people did Spring Core Island in September. No one will bat an eye. 
Oh God, Lily of the Valley, we can definitely use. I think I actually got some of those because I thought those would those would work. But yeah, I don't know. Which fence do we prefer? This one also might not stay the regular simple wooden fence. Uh, there's different colors for that one too. Oh, maybe you wanted to write like sunflower and dandelion. Um, but yeah, yeah, those could be, those could be the yellow ones, true. And then I also, I did get a couple of orange ones just because I thought there might be some orange with like roofs, etc. that we have. So that might just kind of work. There's a flower in Zelda. It's called Sundelian, I think. It kind of sounds really cute. Sundelian is fitting for the bright yellow, though. It is. Okay, simple wooden fence. In... In green. I like this one more in green. Maybe this one in green and the one in the back in brown. I kind of like that. No, it's okay, B. Come on, it's okay. I I mean, you can be quiet too, but like my, I've been so distracted and weird. My brain has been like doing all sorts of weird stuff today and I can't concentrate on like anything. Yeah, I think I vote for green in the front and brown, like darker brown in the back, maybe. Doing the dishes and grabbing something new to drink, of course, no worries. The wooden color is too much beige in that area. I vote for green. Yeah, I think me too. At least like here. At least like here. And I kind of like the... I like the 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 um, clover idea. Maybe I can try something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then you come with me. And you get turned into dark, which I don't know what that is. I don't know which vertical board fence that is. Probably this one up here. Because we've used a little bit of dark in the back there. Yeah. Maybe the recycle area could be like the regular vertical board. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. We could also still go for like a di different like garbage bin or something. I've got too much fencing with me. I do have a cruiser bike still. Um, oh, and then I, I grabbed a few like things for a potential like field over here. It's not even, it's not even a lot of space though. Do we still do it? Or do we save that for something else? Mm, this could be like a private garden too. Maybe this person just doesn't really have a lot of, like, backyard moments. No real, like, garden or anything. And then this person does. And there's, like, a ton of garden here. And they just have, like, that. The gray shade is pretty. Not for this area, but in general. For the simple wooden fence, you mean? Yeah. Thank you, Fishy. Yeah, like a little lawnmower. Ooh, wait, what if we actually plant like a few? Yeah, what if this is actually just their like, their like lawn? We put some, some wheat fields down. Okay, let's get rid of some fencing. We put some wheat fields down and like maybe plant some, some more um like weeds and maybe green mums. So like they really need to take care of their lawn somewhat, you know? That's what's going on. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Let's grab some weed fields then. And um, weed fields, which I also do not have enough of. So that's fine. Uh weed fields. And then we're gonna take, I think I've got a lawnmower as well. I, I think I grabbed it. I think I was already at L, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I was, though. I don't know where they are. We should sort by letter. Oh, 
one, which isn't even in the in a good color. There's better colors. At least there's like an orange for this, I think. Uh, and then how do we how do we what do we think about like grabbing a couple of things for for the free the free area? Okay. Um I'm gonna do some like books. I don't think I wanna do like trash stuff. There could be like a like a box like this. And there could be a box like this for sure. And then here's some like old books. Maybe this pen stand. Or maybe something like this here. And then do I have that little sign thingy that kind of has the little free thing? Which we also maybe don't even need to put down. Hello. The records maybe? Oh, the records are a good idea. Also, like, model kits probably are kind of nice. A, we could put, like, a skateboard down somewhere. Yeah, and, like, basketballs. I need to kind of order a couple more of those, I think. A record box. Maybe some furniture next to the trash cans, like a large trash pickup. I think we might do that in a different area. I think I want to do that. Um, but maybe this is, like, too crowded already. Uh, Dead Kitty, thank you for the follow. Okay, lawnmower is available in red, orange, blue, yellow, and mint. Okay. So no, like, actually neutral color, I guess. Okay, maybe the orange, then. <sighs> Speaking about itchy scalp. Okay. Let's see. Not even green, I know. And I see the mint in front of me, and the mint isn't isn't super cute. Oh, oh, oh my god, wow! Like, I, of course, knew that that perfectly timed it over here. Uh, I'm gonna do, like, the office materials. Maybe in the back towards... Yeah, no, exactly the other side, maybe. What about a garden tool store? Like a yard sale? Yeah, like I think like a bigger thing like that we might do somewhere else. I think I just want this to be like a couple of a couple of trinkets that they're giving away. Just a couple of books. Hello. And remember, we're trying to be a little bit more tie left behind, which means we're also not going to do stuff underneath everything, you know? But yeah, like a yard sale or kind of like a like a big furniture, like trash moment. We're probably gonna do somewhere too. As uh, is it Splod Gems? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Mom's pen stand on this. Maybe something smaller on this, so that we see we still see it's like a record thing. Trash moment. Yeah. Um. Recycled paper bundle. I still have the garden chair stuff with me. Here's the wheat fields. I still kept the the um, scarecrow stuff because I wanted to do the the field like a potato farm somewhere. Um, okay. Well, how about paper bundle? And then maybe this goes towards the center. What about a tiny library? So it's like books on the box are just the ones that didn't fit. Uh, it's like the books on the box are just ones that didn't fit inside. Oh, yeah. The tiny, tiny, tiny basket, handheld basket placed down. Ooh, that one's a good one. Trash mode, that's pretty much my island theme, if I'm being honest. Listen, actually, you, you know what? You say that mockingly, but trash... Trash can be great in Animal Crossing. Trash can be very cute in Animal Crossing. Uh, it's not such a good moment for any of us right now. <laughs> I struggle so hard with leaving towels open, too. I need to take notes. Don't take notes quite yet, though, because I don't know what I'm doing here. I do not know what I'm doing here. I probably don't have that basket, you know? 
Um, oh, wait. It's blue, but we could also just drop like a forgotten item. We currently only have the diary, but like if someone if someone actually drops like the lost book. Kind of like the pocket book. We could drop that one on the on the record label. Nope. I can't. What is what is going on? I thought you were just about to say trash is very German. I mean, <laughs> maybe not very German, but it's not. I mean, we trash is something we also it's, it happens, you know. Hmm? A fossil! Yay! <laughs> Oh, I can't. Okay, I've got one music piece, y'all. Maybe that's it. Oh, yeah, trash is cute, right? Trash core isn't bad, yeah. Oh, on purpose. I love trash. See, there we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we might, I don't know, we might switch the houses around, like the sidings. But like, that's still, obviously, since the villagers are probably going to change anyways, that is a very, um, very changeable thing. The amount of trash a German produces <laughs> is not it. I achieved something. I used up my body lotion. Let's go. Maybe the music box instead of the books. And then you could have a book specific one somewhere. Wait, a book specific one somewhere? So instead of this one? Or instead of the one in the back? Uh, the ones in the back. I also still have the mom's pen stand, which is cute. Wooden music box. But yeah, I need the back lead. The one that has the people in the dindle. It's not my favorite, though. A book-specific free area with a tiny library and all. Oh, I see. Hmm. I think I prefer the book stand, though. Uh, let me try and remove these and have a pen stand there, though. Ugh. Okay, it did not see the going like that. It's already so cute looking. Thank you. And thank you, Shmigy, too. Huh. Nah. I don't know. I kind of like the books. I like this, too, but I just... I don't know. Sometimes I've, I can't even explain why I pick certain things over others. I love the amount of character you're putting into just one section. Thank you, Fishy. I can't explain, but this island feels like home. That's good. The custom design at the entrance, now the random boxes, the path, and your outfit it makes me sentimental. Oh. <sighs> I'd put the books off center, to be honest. Wait, which ones? I, I, I don't think I can. I, I'm not sure what exactly mean, but I don't I don't think you, I, I can. Okay, let's do weed fields like one here and one here. Oh, wait, that's not how I saw that going. The mole crickets. Is the one on the front wrong? Oh, wait, this one might be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, some pretty wheat. Yes. Okay, now I just need to... I just need to... Oh, God. Wheat fields, but make it minimalistic, you know? I don't know. I'm 
gonna get some green mums. The books on the boxes, I can make those off center though, I think. Unless I remove other stuff. Or do you mean the ones in the front off center so they're like to the left or the right? Do you have a single island without wheat fields? No. No, no, not at all. Right? I have I have wheat fields everywhere pretty much. Okay, we should start like we should try to plant a couple more um like a little bit more weed in um in the area too. I just hope that it continues growing. But like I said in the I think in the last stream we talked about this, towards the back of my island there's currently like no weed at all and I'm not particularly particularly loving that. Weed fields are the main character of every area I've ever decorated. Yes. Yes. It'd be so cute if you put a bicycle and lots of newspapers in front of her house as if, oh, a child lives there that delivers newspapers in the neighborhood. Yes. Oh, that's a good, that's a good idea. Yes, we'll do that. We'll do that. We can choose either a villager or we could even have like a little player. I, I don't know because I we think... We think. I think we talked about this before where like uh, the additional characters that I'm going to add to this island are going to be like older people. You know, we're going to give them like names, like German names, like Happy Ed, or I don't know. Um, but we could also make like a kid character or something. I wanted to register for my classes for the next semester. The website is down. Well, good news. You don't have to do it just yet. Die Glinde, Gertrud. <laughs> poor guy who delivers a newspaper, but cute idea. Yeah, really, really poor guy. Um, okay, and maybe how about like this here would be another tree, or maybe like behind this, maybe behind this and in front of this. This could be a cedar sapling, and this could be like a regular sapling i kind of think i like the ones in the front kind of centered though because if i if i put them like off center that kind of looks a little too staggered for me i think i'm not sure about the drop book in the back just yet i thought it was a very cute idea um but i don't i don't know if it's coming across exactly the way that i want have fun, B. We have that here. Some kid is cycling around, delivering the paper at like 7 a.m. Proud of them, honestly. Proud of them. Hmm. Maybe these here? I tried that once and I was like, nah, too exhausting. Too exhausting. I'd rather be poor. <laughs> yeah, I never signed up for anything like that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe more like this? Or is it more is it too low in the front now? My piercing has been like swollen for I don't know how long now. It's like so annoying. Okay, but maybe trees here. I'm a, I'm gonna assume that this might be like third stage. I hope it'll help with the transition to kind of the um the lawn as well. So maybe this will be third, and this will be second stage. I always forget you're German until you speak it. Which is your first language? Uh, German. I'm a true German potato. Okay, let's bring this a little bit more forward. Maybe I think I had more. More wheat fields with me? Did I not? Maybe I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so maybe like... This'll be a wheat field. And this'll be a wheat field. What about the open book with like butterflies or something? Uh, I think I have that one. We can try it, yes.
And where's the lawnmower? Not the best. Not the best color, but we're going to work with it. Oh, wait, that's going to be a tree. Uh, okay. What? This is going to be a tree. The sound. I don't know if you heard that. That was great. There is a green one. Oh. I checked my new freezer and noticed that it's ready to be filled up now. And that's what I did. Nice. Now it's so much space. Although, you know what? If you've got the space, you're probably going to fill it up very soon again. And numbers are for tree stunting. Actually, you know what? I think we can make a command for that too. Because I feel like that question gets asked like so often also. Uh, but basically, that's just a reminder for me in the following days what uh, stage I want the tree to be stunted at. Obsessed with the overgrown lawn idea is looking so cute. Thank you. Really trying to place weed fields, though. Oh my god. I hate it. I'm a little overwhelmed. But it's okay. We got this. One weed field at a time, am I right? Oh god. I feel like I need to grow... Um, I need to grow that tree here to really see this. Yeah. And so I think we're going to grow this too, which is, I think this is going to be like a cedar, like a relatively small cedar tree. Uh, Leonie, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, what do the numbers mean exactly so I word it right? Polina, come on. What like stage I sent them at? <laughs> So like second day, third day, you know. All right. Do I do I do I use like the um? Do I use like the orange one or the green one? Oh, it's mint green. Okay. Uh, hello from Germany, Leonie. Welcome on in. I hope we're doing well today. I speak three languages. Nice. Good for you. Mm, oh, and I also earlier wanted to pick up the customization kits. Uh, and then what did I just want to grab too? Oh, potentially like a shrub, maybe. Just to try it. If I still have room. I think we're going to go for olive starts. I don't know if they'd already be blooming, which is not really what I want. Which would be a little annoying for like time traveling purposes, but... At least, uh, yeah, I don't know. At least there would be a shrub. We can we can kind of see what that looks like. I think this will only be like second stage two. This might actually be an um, an island where I kind of start using like tiny, tiny trees also. Throw the coprolite fossil on the ground to imitate talk business. Andrew, please. Oh my god. You know what, though? Actually, kind of a fair, fair point. Not the worst idea. I haven't even, I have, look at that. I haven't even placed or planted like a singular shrub. Baby tweez. Yeah, tiny tweez. Yeah, guten tag. Yeah. Um. What did I want to get? I don't know. <laughs> Accidentally mowed over the poop, and I can't with you. Kathleen, welcome on in. Oh, God. You're so lucky for speaking uh, German. I, well, I guess so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if German is... Yeah. You're pure chaos. Do you mean Andrew, right? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. But it's okay. We we appreciate Andrew for all the chaos. <laughs> oh, a book. I wanted to get a book. Okay. I 
I'm totally focused. Totally focused today. Hello. I've done the IRL. Oh my god. Oh. I've got so much crap in my pockets. Come on. Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> you got this, baby. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of... You can say guten tag, but it's kind of like... I don't know. I feel like people my age group don't really say that. They're gonna be like, guten tag. That's like how I'm like on the phone. Or like when I go to like the doctor's office, I'll say, guten tag, hallo. But just say hello. It's that's fine. Hello. <laughs> hello. Ich rufe an, weil ich einen Termin gemacht habe. <laughs> I say this very often, ironically. You know what the worst thing is though? When you start saying things ironically, at some point you will start saying them unironically, and then all things are just lost. You know. Olive, welcome back. Welcome back. Animal Crossing needs an automatic pocket organizer like Stardew. <laughs> yes. And this is, it's so bad because like now that I've been playing, now that I'm playing so much Stardew again, I'm going to be like getting used to those controls. And like the other day I, I saw Kat like play on her Switch and um, she was just standing like this. And I was like, wait, why are you not, why are you not pausing your time while you're not in your pockets? Oh, I could imagine walking in somewhere and saying good afternoon in person. Yeah, that's kind of what, what Guten Tag. It's like good afternoon. Yeah. And Sandra, welcome to the chat. Hello. And Kaylin, thank you for the follow. You took away the German speaking from the Wobblies. Do you mean the um the the redemption that I used to have? Yeah. The phone the phone call talk is so relatable. Yes. Hello, um ich rufe an, weil ich habe einen Termin bei ihm gemacht und ich wollte nur nachfragen. My my phone voice is great. It's it's great. I'm liking Stardew. I'm so happy I gave it another chance. The Meadow Farm is so fun. It well 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 it's cute. It's cute. Okay, I wanted to exchange the book. It's cute, it's cute, it's cute. I just can't be bothered to take care of the chickens. And the water is so far away. True. Okay, I don't love the book. Gotta say. And Cherry, welcome on in. Maybe Kefian is time for German Redemption Return. I do kind of, I feel like a little bad though. Um, Taylor Play Sims, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I feel like a little bad though because I feel like it kind of, it's adorable when old people in the country said, like, Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Um, it like, I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of, I, the, only the German in my brain right now, um, it stops others from like being able to participate for like a few minutes. And I just, I don't know. You get eggs every day. Yeah. And I mean, especially with being able to drink mayonnaise now, it's kind of like a good energy delivery. So not too mad about it, honestly. All right, let's see what else I have in my pockets. And we're going to put down a couple of things and then we're going to do some time traveling because these trees need to be figured out before I can continue. Um, generally thought about like the skateboard somewhere. So I'm going to put that over to the side here. It's not like I see a ton of skaters any everywhere, but it's like a cute filler, you know? Got to move my house one day. Yeah, I'm the same on the phone. Ich, ich wollte nachfragen. Hello. Oh, yeah. And Charlie, thank you for the follow. We'll go on in. I never knew how fun the mines were. The mines are the best. The best part ever. It's cool to listen to. I don't care if I don't understand. All right. Okay. Yeah, excluding was the word I was missing. Very excluding for the majority of chatters, yeah. Someone lost their book on my island. I'm so annoyed because I forgot to give it back and now it's just sitting in front of my house mocking me every day I turn on Animal Crossing. You could throw it away weekly if you want to get rid of it or you could also uh, decorate with it, actually. 
As an English speaker, I would happily listen to you speak. Ah, a German word of the day as an alternative. We tried that once. Um, we tried that once and I it didn't go well. Or like people like asked for... First of all, if I do German word of the day where I have to prepare something, I'm going to I'm going to forget. I'll be honest, I will forget. Um and then we had this thing where people were like translate this for me please. But like I always kind of struggled in that moment to translate the word over because it's just I don't know, at some point I think when when you're speaking a different language, there's at the beginning you'll always translate it word by word and kind of really go through it in your mind like what do these things mean how do I say this in the other language at this point I just kind of speak English though and so I feel like if someone just throws like an English word at me I know what it means but if you want like the literal translation it'll actually take me a solid bit so um I just yeah I don't know that wasn't going that wasn't going too well <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't wasn't it mostly the non-German speakers who redeemed it? I don't remember, actually. I work at the dentist, mostly do reception. I wish they would talk as nicely as you do. Really? Are they mean to you, Sandra? I'll continue lurking. I just wanted to say how cute the area already looks. Thank you, Fia. I appreciate the stream and cozy vibes. Impression is heading extra hard today, so I'm happy it's stream day today. Fia, no worries. Enjoy your lurk. I hope uh, you'll feel much better very soon. Remember, you know times like bad times pass better times will come um but thank you for being here the non-german chatters could have an opportunity to learn a bit of german yeah chrissy's playing Stardew valley i know because i can see her activity feed uh, activity <sighs> i started the game with the concerned ape logo was different when i when i bopped in i had plants around it oh is that a mod or did 1.6.3 drop already you got the yellow town sign with the name on it. Yeah, I tried. I tried. <laughs> Should we put it on the left-hand side or or do we like it here? I kind of... Maybe I think I like it here. But also just because it's like up against the tree, I think it kind of works. So people can be really mean. German versions of a Karen. True. I can see that. Uh, Honeypot Mom, also welcome on in. Enjoy your lurk. My dentist, who was the sweetest person ever, told me that patients were getting so rude they treated her and her staff, staff, as, staff as if they were getting some service instead of medical treatment. Ooh, ooh, I don't, I don't like that. I feel like there should be a couple of of pigeons in front of the plaza. Uh, how come the date is not correct? In my game, you mean? I, I time travel. I just, uh, I just skip and. Choose the day that I that I like best. <laughs> oh, I can try this now. Okay, I have this this button on my stream deck, which allows me to put like a marker. I wanted to try it because I wanted to see if if that makes like clipping stuff a little bit easier. Um, but. It apparently make, puts like a marker. I don't know if you can t see it later on in the VOD, but it puts like a marker in my stream. And so that when I check out my video producer, it kind of shows like, um, it kind of shows like the markers. And then it allows me to skip to that part and then may maybe like make an easy clip and then also turn it into short form. So whenever something funny happens, you know, either like, of course, you're welcome to clip. That also very much helps. Or remind me in chat to press that button, okay? I think the right side is good because... Oh, we also drive on the right side. Oh, so it'd be fitting. Of course, yes. Uh, Orcs Tales. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, I have a YouTube channel. Yes, I do. I just stumbled upon your Encanto Casita video. I love your work. Thank you. Welcome on in. And the Pale Hand also. Thank you for the follow. People are so mean and nasty. I work at a dentist's office as well. Dang, I'm sorry. I think the commentary worked so well on Neverland because it was pretty much always a part of a quick tour. I really enjoyed it. It was easy to understand what you were saying because there was a cl clear visual guide. It wasn't so much chatting or missing out on conversations. I feel like nowadays we talk a lot more about things that aren't about Animal Crossing in the moment and switch between topics that it might be quite jarring and maybe quite exclusionary. I think that's kind of correct, yeah. 
I think that might be right. Yeah. Oh my god, you see the pigeons? <laughs> no, stop. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need like a code of like crumbs or something, okay? Yes. God, we're gonna have like Brewsters everywhere. I love these. <laughs> I can't. I my my day has been too long. I'm like entering stupid territory already. And I'm lurking, but wanted to say that I'm really glad I caught your stream. My husband is away for the next few days, and I've been missing him. But now I've just been hanging out and playing Animal Crossing while watching you play. Demira, thank you for saying that. Um, I glad I'm glad we can distract you a little bit. Feed them. <laughs> Feeds the birds. I I don't I don't I don't have anything. I can't put down like a plate of cookies, you know. Okay, what else did I want to put down? The garden chairs, I think I can put back into storage. Same thing for all these things, and I think we're gonna put. I mean, maybe like this over. Oh, this is a lot of weeds, but maybe this part here could honestly be potatoes, like behind the. Behind the um, the bus stop. How do we feel about that being some potatoes? Potato field. Pigeons love cookies. I mean, you could. But the Brewster cookie or corn. Pigeons literally eat trash. I mean, I could drop a boot. <laughs> or can't. I could drop a can. Ooh, that's good. I also... I didn't get newspaper code that has the cookie crumbs on it. I do have a Brewster cookie, I think. <laughs> I can't do that, y'all. I can... Oh, yes. I can put a... The spilled... The spilled bag of snacks. Yes. Okay, wait. We could give it a custom design too. Yeah, that's kind of far away. Maybe this one's just kind of flying around, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> Not the spicy snack. I mean, they'll eat anything, right? They'll notice later on. <laughs> they'll notice. The one across the street is the secret secret lookout. Yeah, this one's kind of like someone's coming. Quick. <laughs> <sighs> oh gosh. Okay, wait. The so Bruce starts sell the coffee on my island. I love them so much. Oh, I love that. I don't know how to feel about it. So weird and funny at the same time. Well, do you love it now? No, Bumby was like, not the spicy snack. I'm not loving these pigeons. You gotta admit, though, there's definitely pigeons. You know? Can you, cust you download a custom code for bird poop? Oh, gosh. Do I want that, though? Okay, apart from that, um... I can kind of drop this back here, maybe. Uh, to use later on. Scarecrow cruiser bike. Yeah, I kind of maybe want to try and do the potato idea back here. Um, so I'll just kind of plant the 10 potatoes that I have. Um, I'll have to like pluck and replant them anyways. But then we can already kind of get started on that. Um, and then let's time travel. I've been procrastinating it for long enough. The prefix. I don't, why now? It's been literally, it has been a year? <laughs> it was a joke. How am I supposed to tell? <laughs> they're watching for people to come. Yeah, they're, 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 they're standing, they're sending watch. No, wait, they're, how do you say that? Also, Kasi Nunca, enjoy your lurk, by the way. It's good to see you. They're looking out. And checking that no one, no one's gonna interrupt them eating trash. 
There's a whole different computer and everything. Yeah, so they shouldn't even have the old prefix anyway. Uh, what's your native fruit? Ooh, I don't know. I think maybe... Pears? I think pears. Yeah. Got these crickets. Okay, one one pocket cleaning, and then it's time. It was pears, I think it was, yeah. Okay, cruiser bike, scarecrow, wooden fence. Um, we are going to check maybe if the little overgrown yard that we're trying to do, if that one should also maybe have some fencing. Uh, we'll keep the trees. Hello. And put all the rest away. Um, Kitsune Takeshi, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. And then... Let's go and hop uh, two days to the future, I think, because most of the trees need to grow like two days. Uh, one, two, and we're going to go to 6 a.m. again. You can now put fertilizer on already grown plants, oh, but still probably no pronouns, huh? Hmm. You can't buy a text? Yeah, that's the point. There come the trees. I'm so excited to get back to Stardew again. Like, I really, this has been very fun. I think this island is going to be really, really fun to figure out because I, I just think there's um, so many, so many ideas floating around, like in the community also. And then I get really inspired from those and then I can I can build those in and it doesn't have to be maybe super over overthinker vibes. I mean, I still probably will, but, you know, because of the minimalistic whatever. And so I'm like actually very excited, but I got the excitement I have for oh, I think this is like rain, but the excitement I also have for. For Stardew is. Is there, you know? Start you again? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, okay. <laughs> yeah, after Andrew's story, we urgently need a fence to keep the dogs out. <laughs> I'm tired, okay? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed. I don't I don't have any videos prepared for next week. Or this week and I just don't know what to do with the hours in my day and all I can think about is Stardew Valley <sighs> oh visitor <laughs> I can't this is, I can't oh god the last 30 seconds describes my mental state it's like oh visitor <laughs> <laughs> same all right mods do you want to do a prediction oh yeah okay we do have blooming uh shrubs uh the, the the timings is a little bit too dark actually maybe the blooming shrubs are not the worst though like maybe they can bloom hold that's what i meant <laughs> I love watching you decorate. It's such inspiration for me big time. Oh, thank you. I have to create my own design codes. Oh, you got this. You know what? I'm I'm definitely not that good at custom designs, but like I, I, I try sometimes apparently with like a street sign or I made like a fabric coat before. And if I can get it to a point where like I'm going to be okay with it, then you can for sure too. You all and all the Stardew streams have me kind of thinking about if my brain can handle a new island and a new farm at the same time. Pia, Pia, no, it can't. Like, I, listen, that's not me. That's not me, like, doubting your abilities. I, I think that you can do a lot of things. But trust me, a new island and a new farm is too much. It's too, it's too much. My brain can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Which doesn't mean you can't, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, prediction is up. Do you think this campsite villager will be a cutie or an, a more of a meh or uggo? Let us know. Golden shovel doesn't last forever, sadly. It still breaks and we're all a little sad about it. Oh, should that tree 
the cedar tree, should that stay the way it is also? Or should it be larger? A new island, new farm, and yeah, and a new IRL job. I don't know, man. I'm same. I mean, you know, you've had your job the entire... My job is new still, and I'm just like spiraling. Super fun. Would recommend. Uh, Sid Love, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Honestly, though, you know, all jokes aside, I'm enjoying the job. It's just, it's just too many things, and yeah. and a second new island, and the third one is basically done. And like the start and the done parts about an island are always the most stressful in terms of content creation because you have to prep like Persephone. <laughs> Persephone, I think this is a sign, by the way. Um, but you always have to prep like so many things, you know, you have to like start the page on the website and make the video about starting the island. Or if you're done, you need to do the island tour and get all the stuff. Like, it's just, I really did not time that very well. You got to know your limits, but more importantly, you have to respect those limits. Everyone has them. It's okay. Respecting the limits is really where my issue is. Yeah. <sighs> Molina in a nutshell. I don't have any videos prepared for next week or this week. And I just don't know what to do with the hours in my day. And all I can think about is Stardew Valley. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, visitor. <laughs> I don't have any videos prepared for next week. Or this the way thing. I'm so dead inside. I can't. I love it. <laughs> I literally go from like full despair to like neutral, and then like, oh, visitor. <laughs> oh, I can't. I'm gonna cry, and I'm like, I'm fine. You know, I. It's the hormones, though. It's it's. I'm gonna blame those. We all have Stardew on the brain. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's too hot. Oh, I can't. I want to start a new island with Kiki's delivery service theme. Ooh. But I have to finish one for ones. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I understand. The way I don't know what you mean for a few seconds and freak out thinking I passed pasted something random somewhere. No, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, Coffee Girl, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. The ADHD really kicked in. Ooh, visitor. <laughs> I guess I should make that into a reel and a TikTok, shouldn't I? Okay, where's my cam set? Okay, wait. Wow, that glitched a little bit. Uh, did I water my plants? I water my plants. Here's visitor. Okay. Gut und schmerzlos. Let's go. I think I will. I, you know, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, no, mm, no. Did I hear crying? I'm in. Hello. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Is there anyone here who likes Lucha? So I know that Mia, I think, likes him somewhat um, because of like emotional value. But is there anyone here who actually likes Lucha? Ooh, 57k points go to Miss Meat Pockets and 10 others. Nice. He looks cool, but I don't know if I call him cute. Yeah. I guess, like, he has, I mean, every villager, someone has, I guess, like, a somewhat of an aesthetic. But he really isn't cute. That red is way too bright. The entire mask thing, just to me, just is very... Oh, nice cat. How many points did you get? How many did you put in and how many did you get? Kalinda's holding my pick at, uh, my pickaxe hostage how, for how much longer? Kind of interesting weather. Did you accidentally time it with like a festival where it takes much longer? Okay, let's customize this. 
the way I didn't even wait for a reaction, I just clicked meh. Yeah, no, you're totally okay that way. I was gonna, I was gonna honestly just say like, you, you can probably figure this out yourself. I put in 3k and got almost 6k. I put in 10 and won 17.5. I put in 5 and got 13.8. Wow. I put in 10 and got Sprixpa in return. Hmm. Okay, so here is red, orange, blue, yellow. Oh, yeah, the grin is very... The grin. Mama, bitte hol mich ab. Ich kann das alles nicht mehr. The green is not greening. Oh, someone commented on my story that my nail color reminds them of sorbet. I don't know if you can see this. And I was like, oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Bedtime! He refuses to work on Fridays once you finish the community center. Oh, well, I mean, you know, fair point for him. I think we're going to go with orange, I think. Was that person Bambi? Surprisingly, no. I don't think Bambi messages me much on Instagram, though. It's Orbe. <laughs> it's not even coming up anymore. It's just, it's just done. It's just not going to happen. No, it is. It is. It will happen. We're going to make it happen. I'm too shy to message you. <laughs> you don't have to be sh too shy to message me. You can message me. That's okay. <laughs> you're kind of like, you're kind of like, um, <laughs> someone on TikTok was like, oh, Stardew was just feeling shy that day. <laughs> you're kind of like Stardew. I was wondering why Flurry is your favorite until I got her on my island. I can't let her go. I bought a flower bouquet five times whenever she tries to leave. I will go for those no matter what. She's so cute, right? She'll just win you over. She was not my favorite at the start, actually. Um, and I just, I had her on my island at some point because I just kind of picked her up. I was doing a villager hunt and just, you know, I was like, okay, why not? Um, actually, this is good. I'll, I'll grab a couple more potatoes. Um, and... I was like, you know what, I'll take her. And then I just, ever since then, have never looked back. I just, I love her. I kind of sad it's not even me whenever I send a TikTok from the banana lady to my best friend. Oh, oh God, Kat and I, Kat, Kat and I hate watch her a little bit. Like, we don't comment, but, ooh. Every once in a while, we'll just sit down and watch back the latest, like, reels and then always just kind of get upset about it. And then we cracked up because we saw, so, I don't want to be like Stardew. Yeah, Bambi hates Stardew because she thinks it looks ugly. What did she say the other day where, like, the, the pixel graphics make me want to throw up? But it was still nice hanging out. <laughs> I appreciate because her name is Creativity, but it's Ago. I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh, the entire cozy gaming community is butthurt now. Everyone's like, damn, Bambi. Did she really say that? Banned. Bye. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, uh, yeah, we, 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 oh my God. We were so, we, we lost it the other day. Because I don't know, Chrissy, if you saw it, but Rive literally commented on one of her reels and was like, oh, that's where all the bananas are. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was ugly until I played it. Same, Persephone, same. Um, Elk, thank you so much for that brand new Prime sub, uh, sub. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you like the emotes and the badge and the ad previewing. Thank you for using that on me. Okay, let's see what, what Harriet does to us. I do like this hairstyle, so, uh, though, so I probably return to this. Kind of cute, though. Kind of cute. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to see that with the hat, maybe. I may have to unfriend Bumby on Steam now. <gasps> I did. I did actually also think that, though. I thought that, um... Oh, that's kind of cute, too. I do. I'm feeling the other one a little bit more now, but this one's cute. Uh, I I looked at Stardew uh, at first, and I was like, I, I don't like pixel graphics. Um... And moved on. And then at some point I bought it anyways because I didn't like the other farming game that I'd gotten. And then I played it and now I love it. And now I love pixel graphics. So, yeah. 
almost done with work. I just want to go home and play Animal Crossing so I can finish the island so I can make a new one as soon as possible. But I got responsibilities. Yeah. I like the funny comments people make under a post. I always watch them so they keep showing up. Yeah, same, same. I have six bananas and a pack of frozen raspberries at home and I thought about taking a picture of the bananas with one raspberry. Raspberry smoothie! As for your TikTok, I commented on it and I have over 200 likes on that comment. What even happened there? I wasn't even that funny or something, but it's like, it's way more likes than I've ever gotten anywhere. Let's go. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. The TikTok did like really well. And I was saying, um... I was saying to my mods earlier was like I'm worried because now like people will expect me to make funny content and I don't I don't I'm not funny and 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 then and then and then everything else is gonna flop but it's we decided it doesn't matter it's fine whatever you know yeah we got a bit of a foggy but I like the fog on I like the fog on uh, Harvey's island a bit more this one is like it's like dark, like gloomy fog. And on Harv's Island, it was kind of nice. Sometimes funny. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> that clip from five minutes ago needs to go on TikTok, please. Yeah, I well, it's going to be it's going to be relatively easy because Bumby clipped it. So thank you for that. Um, Question. Should I keep the silence in it where I just like reset after having my breakdown or should I cut immediately to to the oh cancer but i should probably keep it in P people will probably stop watching but i should probably keep it in just to show how how little time actually passed between it okay um kind of like the trees like this i think it kind of helps the lawn thing shall we maybe work on the lawn thing and then call it a day but like we're we're gonna move like a tiny bit backwards because of the weather right now Keep, keep it all, the whole thing. Oh my god, thank you, everyone. You have been so kind and supportive the last, like, few... Not even just few streams, the last few months, literally. I mean, always, but especially especially the last few months. Um, Mango Miriam, thank you also so much for that brand new Prime sub, for using that Prime sub on me. You only have one of those, so I really appreciate anyone who uses it on me. Uh, and I also hope that you like the, the emotes and the badge. Thank you. I also thought it was ugly. I bought it anyways, had such a hard time getting into it, and now I'm in love. Yes. If you posted the clip that Bumby took, I promise you people would love that. <laughs> also, Miri, welcome to the chat. I'm not the crap out of Stardew to make it look cuter. Do you have, like, a reshader or do you replace... Because, okay, so something I saw is that people use, like, a reshader, but then it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't work on, like, buildings. And so the entire town will be, like, very different vibes, and then the houses will be, like, the new normal Stardew. And I always feel like that's a little bit weird. But do you, like, use a reshader, or do you replace certain things? Like, do your animals look different, or your houses and stuff? And Charlie Lane, welcome back. Uh, the entrance has progressed. Low is looking cute. Thank you. You have to get separate reshaders for the buildings. Oh, okay. Because I was wondering. I was like, do they do that like intentionally? Because I think if I were to get um, a reshader, then I would, I would probably want to do it. Like, I want to get it for everything. I kind of like the vanilla look though, and I have toyed with the idea of actually keeping it. Um. I've I've toyed with the idea of actually keeping it vanilla just for the sake of being like when some when someone comes in and asks I can just be like no no it's ooh wait do these start blooming literally on like this the 18th or something okay but then wait are the hibiscus gonna be in season. Because I don't think there's, like, a day without 21st. Okay. But there's, like, probably not a day without blooming shrubs, right? Um, but, yeah, just for the sake of if someone comes in and asks, I can kind of just be like, um... No, no, it's, it's, uh, it's vanilla or something. Um, but there's still, like, a couple of things I might want to, I might want to get, which I should probably look into. I want to get the to-do list... Um, Chrissy's gonna tell me what mods they are again. 
I want to get to the to-do list and I really want to get the um the one where it tells you what crops you planted because like we always have like breaks in between and then I, I don't remember. I get one that is just generally less vibrant overall, but it does everything. Uh, at least I think it does. The buildings don't look odd. Okay. Uh, Shona, thank you for the 100 biddies. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. I will tell you when you ask. Don't want to be annoying. You're okay. It's good. Okay. Let's try this like clover thing maybe. Somewhat. Which ones do we think look more like clovers? The leafy ones probably, right? These ones here. Don't know about this one then. And I'm probably the energy train and you are on board. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Oh my god, my chat did not show that at all. It like kind of glitched out. <laughs> Paulina, also thank you for the 100 biddies. Thank you for starting that little hype train. Maybe not the white ones so close to the other white ones over here. I don't know if that's coming across the way that I want. Hmm. I have a reshader and I have a mod for all buildings to make them look medieval. Oh, and I do a cuter animals mod. I also have a mod that slightly makes the villager portraits and sprites cuter and different outfits. I know not who you are, nor how I came to find you. But may I just say, hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Kata, thank you for the 369 bits. Thank you. Persephone. <laughs> And Moon Katsu, thank you for the gifted sub to Eleanor uh, um, Aminata. Um, thank you for the support as well. And Eleanor, make sure that you say thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you for the for the support. Moth, also thank you for the 100 bits. Not sure I've ever properly sent bits before. Here you go. Moth, you should have a, a new little badge then. If those were your first bits, then you now have a little mug badge if you want to enable that. Um, and also, Bambi, thank you for the 100 bits. Please buy non-spicy snacks for the pigeons with my money. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I find some of those. <laughs> yeah, are you doing this on purpose now? <laughs> um, all right, and I have an outfit mod, so I have cutie outfits. I can switch anytime and hair and stuff. Ooh, hair is kind of hair is kind of fun, too. Yeah, look at that. Let's go. And Kat, thank you for the 117 bits also. Thank you. Um, okay, non-spicy snacks coming right up as ordered. Would you like cookies or would you like like chips, like crisps? I could also go back and I get, can get like some, like the ones that I have now, but non-spicy. Never using an emote again. I'm excited. This feels like a high point of the day. Nice. I'm glad you like them. Oh god, just the default emotes? Oh, please. Uh, Emmy, welcome on in. How are you? Cat is like, dance. And my, my bit is like, my bit alert is like, no. Let's just play that again, shall we? Actually, wait, I can't just yet. You need to wait for for a little bit. Defiance, rude. <laughs> I was thinking about getting a mod for some clothing because there's a mod that gives you a little cute scarf. Nice. Jump scare warning. Why can't I not repeat that one? I can replay like every other alert, but not that one, cat. If you see me on the train, I'll pass out some cookies. Anyone wants some? Thank you, Moth. I will take some. Thank you. Um, Kat, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the 500 bits, Kat. Thank you so much. And also, Lauren, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Um, Kat, I can't, I can't replay yours for some reason. Like, actually can't. I, I'll send proof in mod chat later, okay? Um... But thank you so much for the bits. There we go. It's okay. 
they do be chomping all those cookies now. Yeah. I was thinking if we should maybe turn them like a different direction so you see the cookies a little bit more, but like, you know. Seat on the train for a lonely spricks for <laughs> Persephone also. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much, everyone, for the biddies. And Paulina, thank you for the snippy sticker. Thank you. Okay, I got distracted. I want wanted to do the lawn <laughs> okay wait um maybe we're like this and also thank you for those 150 bits thank you polina i quite like the idea of this one being like up against the wheat field just because you it kind of looks like that's actually taking care of some grass there, you know? Um, how much, how much stuff would we need? And also we still need a, we still need like a bit of fence. What fence would they have for their, for their backyard? Thank you for the croissant stickers as well. Oh my God, y'all. Um, Savage, also, thank you so much for 1,000 bids. Thank you for the support. That's a lot of bids. Thank you so much for spilling those. <laughs> thank you. Boop. A boop. <laughs> Polina, thank you for the sticker. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe the lattice fence. Oh, true. Oh, I've got, I don't think I've ever used... The lattice fence, because I, I, I usually feel like that's a little bit too, um, Hello. too high. I'm gonna get like the, <laughs> I'm gonna get, wait, I didn't see the placing. Where was it? <laughs> I'm gonna get the regular wooden fence too. I had to go do stuff and miss so much of the stream. So I had to give something. You don't have to do anything. Um... But I, um, you were able to choose? It was on my face. All right, got it, got it. No, but you ha you don't have to do anything, Savage, but thank you so much. Um, and Alex, thank you for the follow, welcome on in. Oh, wow, okay, lattice fencing is a bit interesting. Watch now, Maline. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> thank you for the sticker. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> maybe simple wooden, but maybe simple wooden in a different color then. You know? And plus, like, I don't know about, I don't know about the corner parts. You know? Because would it just be open towards the road or what? Polina, <laughs> thank you for those as well. Jesus. A bush? Oh, a bush. Mm hmm. Oh, what about the Harvey fence? Oh, yeah, let's try that one. Uh, Polina, thank you for the kissy sticker as well. And then Kat, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much for the support. And the subs went to uh, Jody Marie, Jackie, to Tab, Clear Chick, and Past Girl. If any of you are here, uh, make sure that you... <coughs> Polina's having too much fun with those. Make sure that you say thank you. Oh, maybe some hedges. Oh, Germans love their hedges. Germans kind of love their hedges, right? Uh, yeah, but make sure that you say thank you to Miss Meat Pockets if you got one of those gift subs. And um, Polina, thank you for the sticker and the biddies. <laughs> Would stone fencing be out of style? I've never been to Germany. Um, I guess, well, there's definitely stone fencing. I just feel like maybe the stone fencing in Animal Crossing is a little bit too... Um, is like a little bit too gray. I feel like it, it'd be more like overgrown and stuff. The most geometric accurately cut hedges you will ever see. Yes. 
Okay, wait, let's try the log fencing first. And Anna, welcome back. Yeah, okay, this one's not bad either. I think this would be probably, I see this more for like a farm of some sorts. Um, but cute. I do kind of like it. I want to try the hedges maybe. Really? Really, Paulina? Great, thanks. Thanks, appreciate it. Appreciate it. <sighs> the Asian stone wall is too much. Yeah, that one's a little too much. The recolor I'm using is for everything, including buildings, and has a 1.6 edition. Nice. Also, you know what I noticed? The Notion thing that I use actually already has a lot of the 1.6 things in it. Which is kind of wild. Like, the entire, like, jelly stuff, all of that is already in it. I don't know how to feel about the, the he hedges. Oh, I don't know which one I prefer. I don't know which one is my favorite. I remember when they did the update for custom fencing, I'd really hope they would do a mossy version of that stone fence. Same, same here. Uh, Paulina, thank you for the 25 bits. Andy, thank you for the 45. And Marley, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. Yeah. They must have been so fast, right? And Lauren, also thank you for the gifted sub to OK Jelly. Jelly, if you're here, make sure that you say thank you. And Lauren, thank you for the support. I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. Oh, Andrew, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One of the mods will repost it, though. I think. Usually. Usually that's what happens. <laughs> Um, but thank you. I, I assume that you also made that clip, so thank you so much. <laughs> really, Paulina? <laughs> thank you. Thank you for making it. Thank you for reposting it. <sighs> great. Great times, you know? Great times. I don't like the hedges. Yeah, kind of same. Posted in Discord too. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, the head just have like a weird color, I feel like at this time, like at this time of the year. Um, also Kata, thank you for the gift it's up to Water Lily. I appreciate it. Water, Water Lily, make sure that you also say thank you. Enjoy the emotes and all that stuff. And Kata, thank you for the support. I am liking like this entrance here. And to be fair, like I might add like a shrub like here, but I don't think this will use like much more things. And I think I'll remove this one here. Just did that. The entrance looks so cute. Thank you. I'm loving how it's looking so far. Thank you, Emmy. Thank you. And Aisling, welcome on in. I am just, I guess, like struggling with hedges. I maybe, uh, not hedges, um, fences. Maybe, maybe this is also just better if it's like, um, a, a darker, a darker fence though. <clears throat> You know? Wow. <clears throat> like, you know how that one here, I used the green? Gemma just donated. No words, just love. Gemma. I haven't even clicked on it and I'm already like, Gemma. Gemma, thank you. You're not supposed to worry about that stuff, though, but thank you. Thank you so much for the Kofi support. I appreciate that. Darker fens might be better. The hedges work perfectly as a backdrop, um, but otherwise not so much. Yeah. How do you get the orange flower? Uh, orange usually comes from, I think, yellow and, and red. They they oftentimes produce produce those. Okay, let's try a darker one. The wirewood fence, maybe? The Stacheldraht sound? Do you mean that one? The barbed wire? 
feeling cozy gotta head out though thank you all so much for everything there's such an amazing community led by an amazing person so let's just all wobble to the end of wednesday ma thank you for hanging out um and i hope you have a lovely rest of your day thank you okay oh my god all the fencing so here's the darker fence i guess I'm like hesitant to remove the weeds here too. Oh my God. I wish this was like dark brown. Can we not make this dark brown too? There's like this like orange version, which I think is like a bit of a darker version compared to the, the brown one, the beige. I don't know though. I just spent 50 Nook tickets uh, looking for a dreamy. I'm going to a treasure island. Sorry, Nintendo. You have every right to go to a treasure island. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's this one. I guess there's the brown. I don't feel like that's not going to be it, though. I tried to de redecorate my Forever Island a bit more minimis minimalistically, but I don't think I could still call it actual minimal, though. I don't know. I just struggle with it. End up adding more and more stuff. I am basically the same, I think. Like, I, I feel like this is just the start, you know? But it's it, this is probably going to be how it more or less looks. Black is like a brownish gray. I kind of like it. Okay. To be honest, the black looks like a dark brown. Okay, okay. It's not bad. I just, maybe it's a little too orange for this. Uh, and then I wanted to try the barbed wire. God, a little bit of fence keeping us occupied for so long. It does come quite, come out quite orange. Yeah, but may look nice. Not bad, but a smidge too orange, especially with the lighting. Yes. Yeah, barbed wire. Barbed wire, just see. I also, I, I like the look of it. It seems a little antisocial. You know? Surprisingly second that. The too orange. Oh, wow. See? So, I don't know. I feel like I was going to make like a like an argument of like... You can't always trust like your initial instincts about like, you know, Stardew is not necessarily so ugly. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying though. You know, my neighbors have one. So perfectly on brand. The villagers just don't want anyone on their lawn. Yeah. Thank you for the hype train, everyone. Thank you for all those gifted subs and especially also for all those biddies. Um, and say bye bye. Oh my god, also very long again. Say bye bye to the train. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you. Appreciate it. Please come again. <laughs> Lol. Um, yeah. If it's antisocial, maybe you just put, uh, put it up to the next door neighbor, <laughs> like here. <laughs> just like, just like this. <laughs> Leave me alone. Fences can be too orange, but Stardew remains uggo. Oh my god, wait, I already have that dancing one that Persephone and Kat got. Yeah, I ha I got that, the pajama party stuff. I already have those from like 2020. Hmm. Maybe something like this would be like the layout, though. Maybe like one more in. I got him and he's so weird looking. <laughs> um, I'll probably not stream for much longer, to be honest. I have been live for like four and a half hours. And I think I might be cutting it somewhat close to um, my brain being completely done. So I think I'll probably only go for how however much longer this yard takes me. Oh yeah, maybe like this. 
Can't you concentrate on the fact that I like you all, all so much that I even want to be with you while Stardew was on? Actually, true. It's true. That's a very... We should focus on that. We appreciate it. We do. Why does this fence... Uh, this fence and area look so good? It... I mean, it's just... It doesn't. <laughs> Come on. But thank you. I thought you were going to say something completely different. So I started reading that with like a very different to tone. And then I, I realized I was like, what? I do that sometimes. <sighs> okay, well, let's get some more, some more weed fields. Maybe just like two more. Um, I don't want to overcrowd this, but just like two more maybe. Uh, and then I still have like the green mums with me. Plus, if we can maybe manage to make like another wheat grow or something, it would not be terrible either. Um, grass, Sandy? Bambi wants me to time her out. Wait, we didn't joke at the time out, but I mag my job not for the end. What did Bambi say? Fences can be too or I'll sorry reminds Ugo. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. What is the doit? <laughs> I was like, what is the doit? <laughs> uh let's see, let's see, let's see. Water Lily and Jerry Lurk. Uh, I I wanted to see maybe like a like a grass standy. Probably not cute, but I love how I always just take like one thing from my storage and then I'm like question and like I ask myself why I'm having such a hard time and I just keep going back and forth and 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 all that to my storage I mean I don't know Okay, same alignment as these here, which isn't great, but I kind of like the fact that this one covers, you know, uh, I like the fact that that one covers like that gap a little bit. Doit is the weird cousin of the gyroid. <laughs> Chrissy, I'm waiting. Chrissy was like, well... <laughs> Mm hmm We could also just move the lawnmower situation further back, to be honest. Like, let's say... Here? Almost pressed 30 minutes. I mean, yeah. I mean, you gotta be careful, you know? You gotta be careful what you wish for. Really. I'm going to do the same layout again, I think. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Very cute idea. Thank you, only frogs. Welcome on in. Do three with the lawnmower. Oh, valid point, valid point. I feel like I don't want it to be that far back also. Then it won't look too much the same. So should I move it to the front again? <sighs> uh, Misty, also welcome on in. What about other things for fences like log stakes with bushes in between? Oh, also cute. I'm scared of log fences because of lag, I think. Because I feel like I, I really want to... I want to try and minimize the lag on this island. Um, so I feel like log stakes I'm like a little afraid of. But yeah. I haven't paid attention, but it looks good. Why are you so surprised, Bumby? Remember when Bumby was like, you know, placed one, one piece of... One plastic bag calls it decorating. Because I remember. Maybe another garden item to tie in. The oh, Wiggly, thank you for hanging out. No worries. 
Uh, and thank you, Kat, for the follow. Uh, another garden item to tie in the lawnmower, like the hose or something like a toolbox. I like the hose idea, I think. Or we can also do one of those garden faucet thingies with like the, the drain thing underneath and then maybe something with like a watering can. Okay, wait, wheat fields? Wheat field, wow, that took me too long. <laughs> the sass is strong today, what do you mean? <sighs> uh, both perspectives were fine for me, okay. I'm doing a country theme too, except mine is based on Canadian plays. Ooh, very yellow and flat plays, but gorgeous. That sounds awesome. Also, Sam, enjoy your lurk. And Amy, no worries. Thank you for hanging out, though. I appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely, uh, you have a lovely rest. Rest of your night. Rest, whatever. Sleep. Uh, I had a garden faucet, right? Anyone else have to go through the alphabet sometimes to find out what you want? No, just me? Hello. Okay. Uh, Ryla, welcome on in. And uh, Chimps, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, garden faucet. Ah, oh, remember, I only had one of these. Yes. Because every one of your words is worth so much. Okay. Kind of would make sense, like, towards the house. And then maybe this actually does go further to the front again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I'm so quiet when I'm decorating it today. I'm always, like, just staring at it. And I'm like... Mm-hmm... <laughs> Can I do two gutters? Does that work? Why did I not think it was going to go that way? I always have to go through the alphabet with the melody in my head. Yeah. And I, I'm unsure whether K was before or after M. I always sing that in my head. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> I've been following you on YouTube for years since Island with a circle path. Oh, thank you. I'm almost never on Twitch. I'm really enjoying the stream. I'll try to catch your stream more often. Thank you, Rella. Um, I do also upload them over on, on YouTube in case uh, in case that's easier to to get or to, to catch up with. Um, but thank you. Okay, now how about a green mum in a few different places? Let's figure out where with like shoveling or maybe like there instead. Can I put something like taller in the back there maybe? So we could have like a barrel and pretend that they're trying to capture like rainwater. I feel like that's something Germans do. My dad does it. Like this here just needs something, you know? I found dill pickle flavored cashews at Target. Ooh. Interesting. Kind of sounds good. I read through my flashcards again. I'll call it a day. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a wooden birdhouse on a stick? There is like a wooden little birdhouse thing, yeah. A wooden a, a barrel with like a bucket next to it. Um, if I put it in the corner, I won't really have room for a bucket. And on top might be too large. But maybe. But wait, I feel like I, hold on, I'm doing stuff the, wait, wait, wait. I wanted to have a wheat field in front of my lawnmower. Come 
machen das alles nicht. Bitte. Nein! Ach, Mano! Now I would have room for it. Now I, the the wheat fields are kind of the same layout again. And I do I did get the I did get the oh I forget their item name, but like the antenna type thing. Maybe not a barrel, but this tin can thing. I forgot the name. Uh the oil barrel? Do you mean the oil barrel maybe? What have you buried in the garden? Secret wheat. A white plastic garden chair. Germans love the white garden chairs and they're perfect for um for a little break. I got I didn't get the white ones. I got the brown ones cuz I kind of I thought those might those might also work. Um I didn't want to clutter this too much though, you know? Mm. But thank you B. From April on, it wouldn't have been a, the, um, it wouldn't have to be secret anymore. Oh, true. I, I needed to connect the dots in my head for a second. I was like, what does it, excuse me? Uh, to be fair, also, we might be placing trees in this area, um, around the yard situation. A little bit, at least. And then, um, that'll probably help with, like, a, the height of certain things. Not too shabby. Not sure I'm loving this so far. But willing to go with it for a little bit longer. Barrel. With bucket. Hmm. Maybe just a bucket on its own for less clutter, for collecting weeds or debris as you're mowing. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Congrats on your legalization of the devil's lettuce. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. I never really, uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't really need it. But, um, yeah. I guess I'm still kind of somewhat glad that they did it, because, like, why not? Why not? Mm hmm. Hmm. This back left corner, I think it's also weird because the fence situation takes up like so much room. Do we think maybe we should do like a small tree here? And when I say small tree, I can't, I'm gonna try it with this big one. Actually. And then like a plastic garden chair underneath. Or a clothesline. Ooh, a clothesline might be cute. The tree is cute, right? Yeah. We imagine we had an item like Hochspannungsmast. Yeah, the mini Eiffel Tower thing. Yes. I like the tree. I like the tree. Okay, good. Good, good. I like that it's not just me where sometimes like I'm like very picky with an area and I try and try and try and it doesn't work. And then there's suddenly this one thing I place and I'm like, oh, that's it. I like that I don't seem to be the only one. Like I feel like y'all are kind of with me on that. And I, I kind of... I appreciate that. <laughs> it does look like a mini Eiffel Tower, though. The ones that we have, you know, for, for like electricity and stuff. Stardew just updated to 6.3. Nice. Now Clint. Clint will be there. Oh, yeah, cute. Here or even like in between, like back here. Recording 30 second videos on a switch light is a tedious process. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And in Netherlands, they also look like mini Eiffel Towers. There we go. 
Oh yeah, no, but in front of the tree is nicer. But maybe we can do it like here. So it's like in the center of those tiles. And then maybe like something bigger. I'm gonna have to maybe remove a weed there. I think this is kind of good though. I'm gonna want to have like another mum here. I actually even kind of like the standee here. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The clothesline ties in the water thingy. Yeah, it does. It does, it does. The bucket in front of the clothesline, or is that too much? We can try. Let me grab um a uh, green mum real quick. Oh, I think the garden faucet, they mean. A clothes basket behind the clothesline. Oh, the wa oh yeah, the clothing clothing basket thingy. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Behind, behind the clothesline kind of also means we have to remove the weed, though, right? Oh. This garden feels so much like a real one anywhere around here already. Yay! That was the hope. That was the hope. Uh, we can also try to have another... Wheat field? Because I, yeah, as I was going to say, I was, I still have one left over towards the front here. And then maybe like even, oh, actually, wait, there's an open tile here. So I wouldn't have to remove one. So there is the bucket. There is the barrel. I'm, I still have that one with me also. And Vistakia, welcome on in. And I guess, I think you're saying like here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bucket or should I get the clothing basket thingy? I think I like it. I think I like it. Yay! All right, and then whatever we do around these parts is obviously still a little bit up for grabs. Um, also, depending on like how the surrounding area will turn out with like the path and such, because I might I might change the river a little bit to accommodate like the like a path around this part. Um but I'm gonna try to make like a I'll put a cedar tree here. The clothing basket thingy might be too much. I like the bucket. They're both about the same height, so both will look good. Shrub shrub basket? Oh, you mean like shrub shrub? <laughs> So we're talking, wait, just to just to make just to make sure. Are we both talking? Are we all talking about the same one? Because I feel like there's different ones. There's a rattan towel basket. I was thinking the wash tub. I was kind of thinking the wash tub. Both of those are miscellaneous. So both of those could also go on something else. But that would probably be like too much. I mean the wash tub, yeah. Wash tub, old fashioned thingy. Okay, good. If you couldn't tell, that was my, oh, I like it face. I think it did not look like that, but I like it. I like it. Okay, and then here I think we'll put like a shrub, okay? I like that, I like that better. Yeah, I think I like that better too. Okay, the rest of these, we might like do, 
I don't know if there's any open tiles here. I will just stand down and kind of try to spread this one. Yeah, because next to that, that kind of worked. Just for, I think the flowers are really the area where we have to be like careful. Yeah, I don't know if like this part here would be like better in a, in a different setup, but so far so good. Oh, see, there was something behind it. That could have been like a double flower. So good, good thing we kind of put one there. And we'll kind of do one here too. Uh, are those so rocks don't go there? Um, I feel like they kind of have a few different purposes for me. So I guess rocks, whenever like that happens, or I don't know if we're going to do like a rock garden or something, but basically so that rocks don't go here. I think also, um, you know, just to give myself the feeling like this is done. They're, all the tiles are covered. Um, and also, I think um, to not have flowers spawn. Like, I feel like, you know, if the, if like it rains, a lot of flowers could duplicate. And I don't want uncontrolled flower growth. Any flowers that grow just in a controlled sense, you know? <sighs> don't know i'll put that somewhere i just don't know if this is the moment yeah we're trying to leave tiles behind this time it is a bit challenging but we're gonna do our best it's a lot of white flowers here at the start so i don't know if this is this is where i should use it but like lily of the valley could definitely be put in The way you put the fence down is also so nice. Thank you. Why have I never thought of that? It looks so pretty and random. Yellow yeah, still very put together. I love it. I mean, like, the you know, like keeping gaps open and not doing completely continuous ones. Thank you. The skateboard looks like an item. It, it, it actually is, though. It is an item. The way that... I thought that Streamlabs was going to catch that. This is actually an item, though. It is, it is. <laughs> How do I know that my time of the month apparently is also right around the corner because I'm eating chocolate at almost 10 p.m. at night. I was doing so well with less uh, less sugar consumptions. I, I don't even, don't even, don't even get me started on that. <laughs> but yeah, same, same. Okay, I think this might be where we leave it for today. Good night, Bambi. Thank you for hanging out. Um, this might be where we leave it for today. Um, it's been a fun stream. It's been a very lost stream today, I think. But it's been fun. The entrance is coming along. I don't think I would call it done just yet because I think there are like a couple of spaces where we could incorporate like another shrub. Um, but from the start here, you know, you can see... So you can see two houses you can see like some pigeons over here you can see a couple of flowers and then this like giving away type of area and then we also made this uh we made this like backyard situation overgrown and mowing the lawn and all that yeah also by the way we could still put a custom design on the clothesline if we want can't english right now me neither it's okay <laughs> oh. the entry's looking super cute already and don't tell me you didn't do anything today thank you for the wonderful cozy stream and the usual chaos as well thank you Pia thank you for hanging out um yeah thank all of you for hanging out uh, I will be live again on Saturday this week a bit different but different usually I'm I'm live on Sunday this week I'll be live Saturday with some stardew um because we cannot think of anything else so in case you'd like to be there 5 p.m ce ct for the last time after that we're changing time a little bit um thank you everyone for hanging out uh yeah so saturday 5 p.m ct we'll be playing some stardew and then afterwards i'll only be next then uh, i'll only be <laughs> i'll only be back the next weekend um because i'll be visiting my parents and my sister for like almost a week and so i'll be back next weekend um i don't know exactly if it'll be saturday 
and or Sunday. So I guess I'll kind of let you know on social media and on the Discord and maybe also on my website if I, I'll probably take my laptop with me so I can update the website also. Um, but yeah, so far, <clears throat> so far, so good. Not the talk tick. <clears throat> wow. So far, so good for the Wednesday stream. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy with the, with the island so far. I think this is going to be a fun one. And my voice is just like, I'm out of here now. Wow. <clears throat> The little entrance and garden is looking cute. I definitely get the once per day bus to visit. Awesome. Thank you for the fun and chaotic vibes. So many relatable moments. I hope you can relax for the rest of the evening and sending all the good vibes and, vibes and energy for the next few days. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please drink some water. Okay. Um. Thank you everyone so much for hanging out today. Thank you for all those follows. Thank you for all... The um, chats today, thank you for lurking as well. Thank you for all the biddies and subs and also the Kofi support. And um, yeah, just for any of that support, but also just for hanging out, uh, for all the support all the time on social media, and for chatting on Discord. Just, yeah, it I really appreciate it. Um, I will see you hopefully Saturday. I'll switch to the ending screen. And uh, oh yeah, thank you to the mods, of course. Thank you for helping and for keeping the chat a good place. Um, and I hope you all have a lovely rest of your Wednesday and I hope that the rest of the, your week is also kind to you and I will see you hopefully Saturday, if not, then next week. All right. Yeah. Happy Easter to those of you who I won't see again. Um, but yeah, I'll hopefully see you Saturday or some other time. All right. <laughs> bye bye everyone.